They have shit meat. I don't give a fuck. I mean, yeah, that's the McDonald's. Process is terrible, but it tastes damn good. If niggas talk about Chinese food being cat, that shit gotta be like. I'd fuck up a cat. Be honest. I'm not gonna lie. That's a fact. I ain't gonna lie. If niggas told me my favorite food was like a a fucking like tarantula meat, I'll still be eating I don't it. Give a fuck. I mean, you probably already be making cat dares. What type of shit is that? My you mom. know what? Damn, we demonetize. <laughs> <laughs>"You want to start, JC? Go ahead, brother." All right, bro. Talk your shit, nigga. Why you got your drink in your hand? All right, bro. bro. Oh, let me keep my drink in my hand. All right, real quick, real quick, real quick. You know who it is? It's Jr. And I think this one's a bit of a special episode. You know, I love all my niggas, but I love Bash. Do you know yeah. what episode it is, though? Eighty-five. You a real nigga? It might be eighty-six, though. No, 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 no. Could you just say eighty-four? I'm not a real nigga. Cause I ain't know we got the eighty. The fuck? Anyways, bro, never mind. You know, I was about to chat out this nigga Bash because he was in the military with me. My Marine brother. Appreciate him to death. And, you know, obviously we got the lovely and wonderful recurring host, Darius. You are the host. No. What now, listen to me. Now, real quick, we all know I start off with Fritzler. Let's get it out of the way. You're an L man. You don't even watch no more fucking pussy ass nigga. Hey, yo. Um, Love you to death, though. And uh, fuck you, Jay. I want to give two shout outs. And I will not That's drop government. I don't want to expose you people. I give shout out to, I think, a kid in Bulgaria. Thank you for reaching out and speaking to me. Yeah, shout out to you, bro. You talked to me, too. Appreciate you so much. Uh, damn, they... Damn, somebody they, getting freaky out here. They, they get the blasting music outside. And I want to give a big shout out to... Niggas about to laugh at me. But London, I'm going to refer to you as London. Wow. Much love. Appreciate you. That's my twin for real. Thank you for reaching <laughs> out. Having a great conversation with you. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank and, you for uh, supporting the podcast and talking to this man. No regulars podcast. Let's get this bitch started, shall if we? If you watch the episode before this, then you will be very appreciative of this guy. And you'll understand. I hope she <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. But uh, all right. Like I said, like he said, welcome to another episode of No Regs Podcast, episode number 85. He already introduced himself. Bashing the cut all the way over there, straight out of Marines. Yo. That nigga drove all the way from California. 32 hours, cuz, but I'm back, bitch. Yeah. Keep it a buck. I'm on one. George Washington, nigga. Dead homies. <laughs> Dead homies. Dead homies. All right, we're... Yeah, that's, what, that's what you got. You got that out? Yeah. Nah, you want to hit you? want to sing, bro? more Dead homies in this podcast. You guys sing with me? <sighs> Listen, pussy. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll say what you, what you want to sing, though. What you want to sing, Bash? What you know? Don't what, me. You, what you mean? You got to be in this, bitch. We got to serenade know. these motherfuckers, man. All right, bro. I'm going to take it from the top, Bash. You gotta, everybody knows. Come on. You know you know Frank Ocean, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Um, what do we got, sing? bro? We got to hurry up. Man. We can go on time, man. I go crazy. Start, start it off. I turn... Nigga, I'm going to start off. Fuck y'all. A tornado flew around my room before you came. Excuse the mess it made. It usually doesn't rain in Southern California, much like Arizona. My eyes don't shed tears, but boy, they blow. I'm thinking about you. What? You Ooh, no, no, no. I've been thinking about you. Ooh, no, no, no. I've been thinking about you. What? Do you think about We might have to stop, though. We might get demonetized. Do you? Oh, shit. I forgot about that. But we love Frank. But do you got a thing so far? Ahead. All right, uh, you just had to hit that part. Yeah, before we get demonetized. Damn, we I can't even thank Jakar for letting us do a part of his house. If you guys haven't noticed, we got new shit. I feel like I'm Joe Budden in this motherfucker. I got my hoodie on. I got my walk with me. Y'all don't know what this is, bro. The walkie. This is that walkie good slush. shit. Walkie slush. You got that walk, bro? Um, yeah, I got Mio in here, bro. Yeah, let me not say this walk before they, they look at me like a hoodlum. This is Mio and water, people. We drink Mio and you water. You know what I'm saying? We don't like, we love the flavored shit. Very much. But we're in North Carolina when it, the, one of the weirdest states I've been. I'm not gonna lie. These, bro. No, 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 no. Philly. Nah, yeah. no, nah, no, this no, is no. up there, Bash. Me out. Philly has some weird shit, but bro, it's a pickleball state. <laughs> I've, fucking, all right. You want to tell the story? Everyone is up oh, here at 3 p.m. playing what, pickleball. pickleball is crazy. You, you got it, bro. You want to tell? I'm going to say something mean, so you got it. All right, so basically, we out here just trying to play pickleball. Basically, just trying to find tennis courts and shit like that, right? But everyone we go to, there's either like 50 people playing tennis or pickleball or their reserve courts. And nobody's at the basketball court. We're in the South. Don't people like hooping? We are in... Sh- Ooh, let me not die. Actually, no, this isn't doxing. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're talking about the Hornets, LaMelo Ball. You would think that... The baby. Dudes have I know the baby. J. Dude, Cole. Dudes got fucking hoop dreams out here, but nobody's fucking hooping like that. They're playing fucking pickleball. Nigga trying to be pickleball all-stars out here or some shit. I mean... You know how many times we got kicked out for court? It is the Caucasians, so it's not like... Nah, this is crazy. We got that. We got... um. What else was blowing our shit? What's, what else happened? When we walked into the liquor store and everyone had to show the ID and I was the only one that paid. I mean, nope. <laughs> I mean, that's not that bad. 
I was Is it that bad? Annoyed. Especially what, since I mean, one nigga decided to not bring it's, his it's, ID it's to a, a little, liquor store. It's a little, you know. It's a little weird. Also, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, you've been driving. And Jakai been driving. Me and you've been driving. These niggas don't use blinkers. Oh, oh yeah. No, they, they don't, don't fuck use with blinkers. I don't know they what don't the fuck is wrong with these niggas. They just swerve into the next like, lane. They don't give a fuck. So. Because they so nonchalant down here. But the thing I like, they do got some good good ass food down here, bro. That's facts. They got great eats. I ate a meal for $10 today. That's facts. All right. What was the best meal we had? Nigga. Pause before I say this. Billy Jack Shack. You really think that was the best? Nah, like, oh, that where did we just go today? Culver's? Culver's? Yeah. Culver's. Culver's had a, a bomb ass burger, amazing fries, and a drink for seven eighty nine. You can't find it. <laughs> Culver's uh, nah, low key, cookout was busting, but you just didn't like the bread. Uh according to some niggas, we went to the wrong cookout. Let me speak to y'all real quick. Oh, here. Darius is a biased human being. He likes cookout for a specific reason, but he won't admit it to you guys. Cookout is a bun. Wait, what's the oh, specific reason? That shit's because Jay had it? Hell but yeah. Nigga's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga's a fucking weirdo. I'm definitely not going back to that one because that shit was just like, it was one of those shits where it was like either a drive through or a walk through. Bro, like, bro, there bro. was no sitting down inside. Bro, I, I walked up to the window, old boys staring at the monitor, not even addressing <laughs> me. Bro, he was cooked. Boys fried. Nah, he was off something. He probably took some shrooms or some shit. Like, but he's a cool dude, though. Nah, cool dude, cool dude. He got my order right. Everything perfectly fine. I thought you was about to get him mad. I thought you got you mad. You walked back. I was <laughs> I like, I don't want to. I thought niggas was annoyed because there were six Nick, of us, and we just not, didn't know what the fuck was I, going on. But Nick, then I realized the nigga was, like, on cloud nine. Bro, I was mad. I was on cloud 12. I what? walked up to the window. Dude didn't say shit. Just kept on staring forward. I was I like, mean, is that really a problem? You're all <laughs> I mean, you're right. You got it. But, like, you know what I'm saying? I was... I have social anxiety, nigga. I was scared. <laughs> Put nigga out the window. Fuck. <laughs> nigga said I was scared, bro. <laughs> but, I, but let's talk about you, Bash. You're free, bro. How do you feel? Free uh, from the shackles of the government, U.S. government. Free at last, free at last. Dead homies. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. <laughs> so how was the trip, though? Did you enjoy the drive? Hell no, nigga. <laughs> Arizona, New Mexico, by far the worst states I've ever been to. Mm, nah, nothing. no it's way. Sorry if you live there. Sand and mountains and hot weather and bugs. It's not pretty? No. What the fuck? Were you driving at night? Night and in the morning. So where, like, what states were you when you were driving at night? Uh, at night, well, I drove through Texas damn near half the trip. But at night, it was like New Mexico and Texas. Then I woke up for Texas in the morning. Then I drove through Texas to Louisiana and Mississippi. Then I slept in Mississippi. And I drove through Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina. Why? Why didn't you get a hotel? Don't you have like a hundred thousand points? I don't want to use them shits, nigga. I need them shits, but I need them. I didn't need that shit. You need it for the baddies. Yeah, need Bash, for the Bash was homeless, bro. I've been saying this since high school. Nigga's a homeless nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? That's real shit. <laughs> why he keeps it? Why? That's my fault. Yeah. I mean, I just, <laughs> I've been saying it, and nigga slept in his car, so you know I was right. So yeah, I get, my but, fault. I drove thirty-two hours. You can't even drive <laughs> ten hours by yourself. Yo, damn, he fried you. Yo, yo, my record is six you. hours. Come on. Not I, to I, mention, this nigga Ish slept for like sixteen of those hours. Yeah, Ish is mid. Ish is mid. Ish did so ass, bro. We were driving. We're driving. We left to come here at like around one thirty. Yeah, nigga, ish slept all the way till fucking ten o'clock. Twelve. What time did o'clock, we get here, bro? We got here around like twelve forty-five ish. Then niggas got here. Ish was still asleep. And then he, yeah, he know, came he and slept some more. <laughs> yeah, niggas not even driving. That nigga was asleep just now. He just woke up a minute ago. Yeah, right. ish, ish has at least been asleep for a good maybe thirty-six hours. Like mm-hmm. hybrid. He don't his UJ shit. I know, right? What the fuck, nigga? UJ. We, we can't say UJ more than once. Oh, oh why? More you than gonna twice, spawn? More than twice, you feel me? <laughs> you gonna spawn in yeah, the, at the door like, like yo, niggas in my head, bro. <laughs> we don't want to Beetlejuice that nigga. But, <laughs> but nah, hold on. Let me talk about what happened on the fucking, when we was driving. How we almost died, if you've oh, seen this boy, shit. Bro. All right, bro. I didn't think it was my fault. Jason said it was my fault. Yes. Was it? Re- Jason, all right. So no, first bro, of all, Spencer, all right. I don't know where we was at. We was probably in like. I think we was in like Delaware. No, nah, no. Nah, I think we passed. It was like Maryland. We was in Maryland? It was before you went to sleep. So we was in Maryland. We was driving Maryland. I'm driving down the shit. I had my high beams on because there was no way on the road. So I was like, you know, fuck it. I'm thinking it's my old car because my my car would be hard hard as hell to fucking see the shit. So I'm driving. A big ass truck like scoots by me and goes in front of me and puts its high beams on in the back, right? So I'm like, what the fuck? What the hell's going on? And I'm like, oh shit, my high beam's off. So I turn it off and he still has his shit on. I can't see. I'm trying to swerve. I'm trying to go to other lanes and shit. This nigga's blocking me with his high beams. I'm like, yo, is this nigga good? I try to go in front of him. This nigga tries to block me again. And then we try to pass him. This nigga almost crashed into us. All right. It's not that he did deliberately. He had to swerve the lane because he was going too fast, which is his fault. Don't okay. get me wrong. It is that nigga's fault for going too fast and had to swerve because there was a car in front of him. 
But, but here's where Darius is wrong. He's flashing his high beams to let us know to turn them off. You know, like a good trucker might do at one fucking thirty or two thirty in the fucking morning. Nigga Darius is like, no, fuck this nigga. I'm gonna flash him back eighteen <laughs> times <laughs> and is wondering why he's swerving in front of us. Okay. He's probably pissed. Okay, but look, in the beginning, he was behind us. Yeah. He didn't know I had my high beams on. But when he got in front of you, it's shining in his mirrors, probably blinded this nigga who truck drives for a living. Nigga's life is ass. His fuck, life is Why are you going slower than a truck? <laughs> That's theirs. I drive pretty slow. I'm driving pretty at normal speed. Nah, there was, there was a point in time where I was getting tired, and like Jason knows, like I was no. driving like 40 on that bitch. <laughs> nah, bro, real quick. Truck driver, a little side note, real quick. Bro, me and Darius was supposed to alternate because, you know, Nine to twelve hours is a lot to drive by yourself. So we were an alternate for them. You know, I'm staying up for Darius or whatever. I'm ready to switch. He's like, nah, bro, I got it till nine. And bro, this dude's on the road going fucking fifty on the freeway. That is a <laughs> seventy, by the way. Seventy <laughs> minute speed limit. Um and he's like, Bro, these <laughs> we're you know, there's a lot of forests and trees. This nigga goes, Bro, the shadows are they're tripping me out the way they move. And I said, What? I said, Pull over, bro. Now, it's on, my turn. Oh god, you, you know the fucking um the swirly things, like the swirly little uh hypnosis shit? Yes, yeah, that's what it felt like, bro. Cause them shit just moving type crazy. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> no, nah, it was tripping, time for bro. It was time because. for him to go to sleep. Because this nigga before we left, bro, it was like a week ago. This nigga Jay's like, Man, I'm probably gonna have to drive the whole trip, bro. This nigga Darius ain't gonna drive, he ain't gonna do shit. That's I'm like, what I shit. bet I'm about to drive, I'm about to drive most of the shit. My my goal, he got it. My goal was to get to North Carolina, and Virginia fucked me up. I felt like we was in Virginia for like 10 nah, hours, Virginia's bro. massive. No, but I'll give it to Darius. He did make it literally 10 minutes out of North Carolina. He drove, For literally, me. if he just would have taken 10 more minutes, he would have got to North Carolina. But <laughs> I'll count that shit. He <laughs> held it down for a row. Bro, that was crazy. That was, it was not bad, though. Now, there was a time when you were asleep. It was you and Ish sleeping. It was just me and Chris. And this nigga, Chris, was like... I forgot. He was like, yo, because it said like 70 miles on that shit. He's like, all right, bro. Once you get to, to the end of 70 miles, that's when you can stop. I'm like, damn, that shit was at 45. I'm like, yo, I'm kind of swerving right now. That shit was max. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. That <laughs> shit, bro. Like there was a time this nigga Chris like, yo, bro, go get, go get like a frappe or some shit. We went to like uh, McDonald's, got a caramel frap and, and a hash brown. I was good for another two hours. But yo, in the beginning, it felt like the first two hours felt like like four like, it felt like we've been driving for four hours, but it only says, it said we got like six more hours. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I don't yeah. know if it was just because I was tired. I, that, I mean, it, was it was the first exactly time. Exactly what happened, nigga. Nigga, it was the first time I ever stayed up like 24 hours. Nah, that shit was kind of crazy. Darius held it down the real shit, and so did Chris. Uh, Ish was an L, man. Ish was. Yeah, you, Ish. you see me. <laughs> shout Ish, Ish, Ish was literally L, just a guest. Bro, you he always got to shout to Chris. You have to food. stay up for the driver. I don't care if you're on a road trip. You got to stay up for the driver. I don't give a fuck. Like, if, if Chris was sleeping, I was up with Darius. If Chris was sleeping again, Darius is up with me. And you have to have someone entertaining the driver because he's driving your vehicle, which is literally your life in his hands. So, we had, I, had to I know, but Chris Unless called it, ish, though. Because, you know, that nigga Ish don't give a fuck. Nigga Ish don't care about your life or his. Nigga so. spelled the Wakisha on him. <laughs> on the babe? Damn. Mm. <laughs> the babe. <laughs> the babe and the carpet is crazy because. Nah, it's not on the carpet. Nah, this nigga, nigga, Chris called it though. Ish, he was like, yo, Ish about to get two sandwiches. He about to knock the fuck out. Sure did. He had two sandwiches. He had, sure a, did. He had a steak, egg, and cheese and a, and a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle from McDonald's. That steak, egg, and cheese busting though. It was really good. I'm like, a lot of McDonald's out here doing it, but they have shit meat. I don't give a fuck. I mean, yeah, that's the McDonald's. The process is terrible, yeah, but it tastes damn good. If niggas talk about Chinese food being cat, that shit gotta be like... I'd fuck up a cat. Be honest. I'm not gonna lie. That's a fact. I ain't gonna lie. If niggas told me my favorite food was like a, a fucking like tarantula meat, I'll still be eating I it. I give a fuck. I mean, you probably already be making cat dares. What type of shit is that? My you know what? Damn, we demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got like... How, how long we got into this? I don't even know. That might be 13 minutes. Like 13 minutes, we're demonetized. We're already canceled. Fault. I can't and get into a podcast without being demonetized, apparently. I don't know what you say. They trying to silence me. They know you Muslim. That's why. <laughs> hey, let's talk about, let's talk about the Muslim religion real quick. This nigga bash is the fakest Muslim <laughs> I've ever seen on the fucking Whoa, earth. Oh, I never said I was this Muslim. Nigga, this nigga, first day out here, you know, you know, he just came back from the military. We don't know what he's been up to, but he's been following the Muslim religion, which is um, Ramadan. fasting, Ramadan, doing all that good I shit. I was right? doing Ramadan, but I also drove for 32 hours by myself. <laughs> Broke his fast on the drive. Understandable, right? I but have not you, been able to keep up the schedule because we have been drinking ever since I got but, here. We don't drink. But um, <laughs> but um, um, dude gets here. He's like, we we go to a restaurant called Jack, uh, the Jack Shack that he was talking about. Billy's Jack or, Shack. Yeah, that Bash was talking about. 
He said, nah, man, I'm not going to do it. I said, man, respect, bro. Ramadan, Muslim religion, cool, bro. Hold on, dude, hold on, hold on. Dude hold on, immediately on. gets to the house and busts that wait, wait, wait. First of all, <laughs> he doesn't want to explain that he was the one that was peer pressuring me. Yo, my ex was always breaking her fast. Oh, yeah. You just got to ask Allah to you believe you. You say that. Oh, shit. That's real shit, though. Oh, shit. Well, like, if you, you try to call me out when you was the one. He pr- fried you. <laughs> if you was a good Muslim, you know, Allah. Oh, would, if I know, was a good Muslim? No one yeah. said I was Muslim. I was just following that Ramadan. Nigga, he, I'm a, I'm he's, a spiritual person. He's Muslim. I was like, practicing he's my Muslim social shit. control. Right? You <laughs> know, <laughs> unlocking my chakras. Now my chakras is closed. That's why I got to leave tomorrow because you made me break my fast. It's Jason's fault. <laughs> nah, I found it. Bro, oh, hell, I found it. it. Now hear me out, right? Now that stuff I can forgive. I've seen it. I've seen it, right? But again, I, come, I, I know a couple Muslim people and shit like that. Never in my life have I seen them eat pork. Not once. They are very, very specific on no eating pork. We're at the, uh, what is it called today? Coulter's? Culver's. Culver's. Bash had pork? Had a bacon cheeseburger, nigga, cuz. Yeah! Nigga, Bash is busting down bacon. <laughs> Bro, I have a bacon there every time I go to Wendy's, cuz. Wait, Bash, Some niggas we, had turkey, ex- we had turkey sausages and bacon for the last two days. Yeah, nigga. Oh, he said fuck that. I don't that. like making pork bacon. <laughs> Fake Muslim, bro. Hey, bro, that fucking bacon at the fucking restaurants be tastes a little different. I got to make an exception. No, nah, that shit not bacon. That shit cat. That's facts. That's what we're talking about. That's cat ribs, That's nigga. Facts. <laughs> That's cat I belly. I can't lie to you, bro. That's that Filipino meat. Yo, nah, bash though. It hey, was yo. literally like three o'clock in the afternoon. He he broke that shit immediately. He started busting it down after nigga, holding his goddamn we, pass. We were up to like three a.m. I was hungover and I woke up at eleven. And I was like, damn, I cannot hold out till eight o'clock. <laughs> I haven't drunk any water so after I went to sleep. I, didn't eat. I was dehydrated. I woke up. God damn, nah. bro! This is what you. That's what you gotta do, Bash. This is it's no, what you gotta no, no. give they, up. They, they fucking prepare for the next day. They might drink some water, wake up early, so they can eat and drink some water and get through the day. I did not do any of that. Well, I mean, my nigga, I mean, I'm doing reverse fasting. Oh, nigga, you were being a normal human being. <laughs> no, that's fine. You were, you were doing eight. with most nutritions like nutritionist. Suggest. What, eat from 12 to 8? Yeah, just don't eat after 8. Damn, I might do that today. We might get Jamaican food. Yee. Yee, I got to try oxtails for the first time, but you know. Oh, my Jamaican's out there. I want to try your oxtails, and if it's ass, no. you're mid. For my Jamaican's Damn. out there, but, I want to uh, try your women. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the? We practice abstinence. We don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah, we are We are a wholesome podcast. Yeah, we are, bro. besides Bash, to be honest with you. Niggas a dirtbag, but. I practice being absent <laughs> from your life. <laughs> After Speaking of dirtbag, I've actually never talked to you about the military because now that you're out, we could actually talk freely in person because that's what I like. Um, you have boots, right? Obviously. Oh, well, sort of. Okay, I, I sure. Never got did the Did you ever haze anybody? No. Really? I, I didn't really believe in hazing. Like that, I, that shit was kind of ass. I respect that. I do. Did you haze somebody? No. Me? Oh, yeah, you. I, I don't know for sure. He <laughs> did. Oh God, this <laughs> nigga's this a thing fucking thing. dick. <laughs> yeah, I know he's alpha bit push. This nigga Jason. Not said, that's not something people do for like. Exercise. They do that for punishment. All right, now I will. Okay, here's what I'll do to make it fair. I'll talk about sometimes that I was uh, a bad time that I was hazed, and I'll talk about how I hazed someone else. Fair. That's cool. I think that's fair. So let's is it talk. any way legal? Uh, I don't legal. think it's illegal. It's okay. something too crazy. It's something too crazy. Uh, I it's legal in a sense. There is just... there is crazy shit, but obviously you know I'm not gonna. Yeah. Sit there. Whatever you want, my nigga. We, we so don't. okay. Let's talk about how <laughs> I got hazed. So I first got to the fleet. The fleet. Is you do in the Marine Corps, you go boot camp, you go, if you're infantry, you go to a different school, but if you are a regular nigga, not a fucking crayon eater, you go to something called MCT, and then you go to your schoolhouse for whatever job you need, it's just like college, but you know, for whatever job you are going to do, and then you go to the fleet, which is where you're going to be for like the next two and a half years, three years. Um, so I arrive in Hawaii, lucky enough to get there, um, and my two corporals pick me up, right? Don't say a fucking word to me. Don't say a damn word. They parked on the top of the parking garage just so I can pick up my luggage and bring it all the way up there. No elevator, no nothing. They this said, is, follow me. This is when you got went to book. <laughs> when I got to the fleet, when I got to Hawaii. My unit. Okay, okay. My nah, you Because you, you go to the fleet with a lot of shit. Like, yeah, you're bringing everything you have with you because you're about to start living there for the next however many like years. Like all your uniforms, everything you brought with you from home, you're bringing that shit there. But you tell me that nigga wait at the top of the hill for you? Nah, so like they came to pick me up. First of all, first of all, I, I almost forgot. I'm sitting at the terminal. They gave me their number, obviously, so I can contact them when I'm there. Yeah. I text them, I'm here. Don't say anything for 20 minutes. I'm sitting outside the airport for 20 minutes. They send me a picture of myself. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and then they're like, they're pointing at me. I said, all right, bro. What the I was fuck? Like, all right, not too bad yet. Then they said, follow me. I go 
all the way up to the top of the parking garage. I almost forgot to mention, they parked in the middle. They go, <laughs> they go oh, I forgot where I parked. And then I had to walk back down the stairs of the parking garage, got into their car. Now, if you're familiar with The Walking Dead, they tortured uh, Daryl, one of the characters, with a song called Easy Street. Yeah. <laughs> the entire ride back to base, which is a 30-minute drive from the airport in Hawaii, they played that song on repeat. Easy now, the Street? Fir- yes. <laughs> now, the first two times they played it, I think, oh, all right, whatever. They just fucking with the song. I don't really care. Third time it played, I said, oh, shit. They're about to beat my ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're about to fuck me up. So we get to base around like 8 o'clock at night, check in, do all the shit I need to do. I'm like, all right, not too bad so far. They go, put all your shit in the fucking lounge right now. We have barracks. Yeah, yeah, Which is yeah. like an apartment building just like this. Yeah. But for Marines, right? Uh-huh. They go, put all your shit in the fucking lounge right now. I'm going to give you one minute. I have to grab all my shit out the truck, run it to the lounge. And I'm standing in there. I walk in that lounge, Darius, and I, I bash both of you. And I'm scared for my fucking life. There is... And I shit you not, six niggas in there. <laughs> six corporals of the Marine Corps. It, you, that might not mean sus. something to you, but to him, he understands. Corporals have a lot of power back in the day, back, back when I was getting in. And they are just berating the fuck out of me. Like verbally? Yes. Like saying what? Until we get physical. We will get physical in a second. What the fuck? Right. God damn. They're asking a bunch of Marine Corps questions like, what about, like, the be asked questions about uniforms is to fuck with people. Like, yeah. how many inches is your cuff of your leg pants supposed to be above your boots? Or how many your, inches is it, six? I don't remember, but I'm going to be honest. Fuck them, like, right? Definitely so they're fucking with me. They're fucking with me. They're all in civvies, so I don't see their, their rank. Yeah. So somebody says something to me, and they find this shit hilarious. I didn't find it so funny. I was pissed. He says something to me. I'm like, yes, corporal. He goes, how the fuck do you know I'm a corporal? I said, I'm so sorry, sir. Because when you don't know someone's race, you say, sir. Yeah, yeah. Right? Out of respect. Nigga started lying, dying laughing. He said, I'm a corporal dumbass. I said, <laughs> All right, bro. Right? So what they do is, one of them, while I'm obviously focusing on these niggas, take my bag, put it in, in one of their rooms, and lock the goddamn window or the door for it. They said, oh, shit, you didn't bring your uniforms? You're dumb as fuck. Go get it. I have to find the room, one. I have to go get the uniform, change, climb in the window, climb out the window, get back Right there. This is when you first got there. Yeah. So how old were you? Like nineteen? Uh, no, I was like eighteen. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So you know, they're, they're, first of all, I forgot to mention when I here's why I know I was fucked. I was in the lounge and when I walked in the first time, they're playing Easy Street. Still, <laughs> they're still playing Easy Street. I'm like, fuck, was like, bro. Damn, these niggas definitely know I'm each other. I'm like, <laughs> fuck, bro. Right. But right. So I changed my uniform. They berated me for it. They tell me I look like shit. Normal stuff. Uh, I didn't know that at the time. And they're like, no, change into this. They're like, do it right now. Change into that. But I obviously don't have my uniform in the room, so they have me strip into my fucking underwear. Right? Yeah. And <laughs> run out the barracks, climb through the window again, change in, change out in my underwear. So you climb through a window yeah. in your underwear? Yeah. Like, you look like a crackhead? Yeah. Okay. Sounds crazy. I get back and how, Wait, then, how long was this whole process? Like, from start oh, to... Oh, yeah, this so... This shit probably took hours. No, nah, it was hours. They hours? Were fucking, no, fucking with me for hours, yeah. Niggas be bored. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, you would say that, but it's their fun. That's that's how they I, get their shit off, really. Really, them niggas is shit. Is what the government do with us? Huh? This is what the government does to us? <laughs> no. I wouldn't say the government. Because most units don't actually do this. Yeah, my unit definitely does yeah. not do that type of shit. Yeah, I know. They, had this, they just threw this nigga it's in the water. It's just infantry units that think they're like... High and mighty above the fucking clouds, they're like, we need to fuck our people up because we're better than. There's a thing with infantry units, especially since they really don't be doing shit. Like they just gotta fuck with people. Those are the niggas that be in the field. Yeah. How many of y'all niggas came back? To- a lot of them because you know a lot of us don't <laughs> don't actually go to war. Right, we're in you the know? field. We're not in combat. Yeah, we're not in combat, brother. <laughs> I'm trying to smoke on the dead ops. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, dead homies, my boy. <laughs> dead homies, nigga, dead homies. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, I've been shot at more in my house than I have in the military. That's, that's facts. What but um, nah. So yeah, that goes on for hours, and then you know, a couple physical things happens. I've been hit before. I've been fucked, like literally beaten the fuck up. By, oh, uh, I'm like, what the fuck? My uh, seniors, but it made us. You know, we got a good bond after I was a senior. So that's how I was hazed. That's okay, one so story. I, I got a multitude of stories about wow. how I was Um, now let's talk about how I hate someone else. Now. A lot of people aren't going to get this, but here's how I fucking see it. Let's see. It was undone to me. I will undo it onto somebody else worse. If it wasn't done to you. If it wasn't done to me, then I wouldn't have done it. But if it was done to me, it's fucking tradition. Oh, my nigga. great. I'm talking 
we made niggas shave their heads. I don't care how beautiful you thought your hair was. Oh, and you would never grow back. Up. I don't fuck shave your doing. fucking head. I don't give a you shit. And I will do it for you. you I'm going to shave me. your head personally. You're going to have to kill You've me. Done that shit. You're um, touching my hair. So let me, think about, let me think about how I hate somebody, right? All right, so here we are. Do you remember the person's name? Of course. Good. I'll disclose it. Fuck it. I'll talk about Miller. I'll, I'll, talk, I'll tell this story. I'll talk about a kid named Miller. This kid is 25 years old. I think he told At me. At the this. time, this dude is three years older than me. Yeah. Three years older than me. So you was 18? No, no, no. I was 22. Oh, and he was 25. He's 25. Wow, I would still. So, oh, hell no. Bash may know. I don't know if it was like that over there. When you get to the fleet, for some reason, no matter how old you are, you act like a fucking idiot. <laughs> you, I don't give a fuck how old you are, how much knowledge you really are, how smart you are. You will just act stupid because you are probably nervous, scared, and don't know what to expect. Yeah. So we are on his first field op, which is in PTA in Hawaii, a big island. It's a field op. We're, we're in the middle of a fucking mountain, basically. It's imagine a mountain. We're up there. Yeah. And he does some shit to piss my staff sergeant off. Staff sergeant's two ranks above me. I'm a corporal. Mm-hmm. And staff sergeant goes, Rob's handled this. I said, okay, bet. And usually people will make them run or do some dumb shit. But me, I'm going to be fair with you at the time because it was getting out. I can tell you a lot of more stories about how I was unfair with niggas. But at the time, I was like, I'm going to be fair with you. No problem. Drop blouse. Do you know what that means? Drop your pants? No. Do you know what drop blouse means? Of course. Drop blouse means take off your shirt. Okay. Like, we, we, have, a, we have a regular, like, T-shirt that we wear under a green skivvy shirt, is what we call yeah. it. Yeah. But we have our blouse. It's the camo uniform. Yeah, yeah. I said, all right, Miller, I'm not even going to blast you. Drop fucking blouse. Uh-huh. When a nigga says drop blouse, you about to sweat. Yeah. So I make him run, do all this bullshit, right? I said, we're not finished yet. You pissed off staff, sir. Like, and he gave it to me. I'm going to fuck you up. I said, drop blouse, get on your knees. Hey, yo. I got on my knees as well. We're not going to make it up there. The way we grapple is we're not going to start standing because someone could get hurt. So we start grappling on the floor, right? Yeah. Obviously... I'm with it. I've been grappling for a minute, grappling my seniors, blah, blah, blah. You know, grappling is McMap. And I start fucking this nigga up. Bad. Like, I'm Are you about, wrestling this nigga? Yeah, I'm wrestling the fuck out of him, right? But um, he's he's heavier than me, without a doubt. I'm a skinny nigga, no doubt, right? Bony. But <laughs> because, and here's where you think I'm cheap, right? Because, I, you know, I can't really push him off. Yeah. Sorry to say, obviously he fucked up in front of staff sergeant. Someone's going to, you know. Flip this nigga over. So someone pulled him off. We're wrestling. I'm fucking him up, no doubt. But he got me on my back. I, w- I will admit it till this day. He got me on my back. Strong nigga, right? Yeah. Someone flips him over. Got on top. Put him at a headlock. He wasn't tapping. Wasn't tapping. Don't know why. He could have got out of it if he tapped. I started to just... Body shot this nigga? <laughs> yeah, giving him bodies. Because obviously I'm not going to hit a nigga face to get him. Yeah, I don't really want to hurt him. Did he pass out? No, nah, he's, he's good. Oh. Body shot him. Body shot him. Body shot and, uh, you know, obviously, nigga told me to stop. I said, all right, bro, I'm done. But, yeah, that's how. You're hitting I, this nigga hard as fuck? No, nah, I'm not giving him my full power because oh. that's just professional, you know, no. Yeah, that's yeah. a personal type shit. I really love the kid to death. Wow. But, yeah. See, this is for some of you kids that watch. If you're under the eight, if you're in high school right now and you don't know what you want to do in life, you think about doing the Marines, listen to these guys. Just go to the Air Force. No, nah, go, go to any other military branch. Real shit, because if you unluckily get a military, first of all, the Marines is garbage overall. Terrible micromanage, treat you like a child, even if you're responsible. Let alone you get an infantry unit, it will get physical. Wait, if you care. want to go to Marines, don't go to an infantry unit at all. And like, stay it, in the. It stay doesn't. In the, it's like corporal below is just not fun. Like, yeah, you'll get fucked up. Damn, but I, I had a multitude of stories. But Chris wants me to save it for his podcast, so I, I'll keep a couple. I'll keep a couple. Bash, you got any crazy stories that you want to give out to the public about the government? Uh, I mean, it's not the government. It's just the Marines. About the Marines, about I mean, I keep saying government. My bad. Nigga, YouTube already don't like me. They be demonetizing me. Nigga, you trying to get the government after me? <laughs> um, I don't. I don't really have too many like hazing stories because my unit was like, like we worked hard, so they try not to haze people a lot. Yeah, but, like worked them too hard, like outside of work. But like, uh, I remember one time, like, like yeah, I I fucked up in the field, and I was like, for a week. Dragging my toolbox through the sand, like wherever I went. Okay. I don't know if you know, trying to drag something heavy with wheels, that was not fun. Didn't you say you like slept in a tank for like a minute, for like a week? I, that's just a field, bro. You now, know. hear me out. I'd rather have slept in the tank. Just, oh, I, yeah. He, he's, he's, like, he's on shit. Like, he, that's real shit. I'd rather sleep in the tank. Now you're thinking, why the fuck would you want to sleep in the tank? 
Well, would you rather sleep on the floor? Outside in the sand where it's cold as shit. Honestly, yeah. Didn't you yeah. say you was in like desert for like a yeah, month? Yeah, yes, yeah, the yeah. desert he, gets cold as shit. Bombs too. Y'all think the desert? Oh man, hot Sahara camels, no water. Nigga, it is colder than a bitch at night. <laughs> nigga, the moment so the cold. sun drops, nigga, I I don't. That's freezing. I, I, I shrivel up, nigga. I don't know what to do after yeah. that. What the fuck? I'm because the tanks I was in, there's like a fucking heater inside. Mm-hmm. And since I'm a mechanic, I, pr- I get treated uh, like a little bit better than the operators. So yeah. like at the end of the day, I was like going to like where the corporals and the sergeants are and I chill in there with the heater and shit. Yeah. And some niggas might like sleep outside or like sleep on top of the fucking track. Okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got there as a mechanic because the operators got treated like shit. So, Real shit. So what was, so what is Bash considered? Cause I remember, don't you have, this, isn't it like nicknames y'all be giving each other? Pogue. <laughs> Pogue. <laughs> so All what right, does that bro. mean? People other than grunt. I'm technically a pogue, but because I was in the infantry unit, I've been stationed with grunts. So the grunts are the infantry niggas. Yeah. Yeah. And the pogues are the niggas that aren't anybody infantry. that isn't literally a grunt. anybody that isn't or doesn't really support the infantry. I'm yeah. technically not since I sometimes support the infantry. Yeah, he, he absolutely does with his job. Yeah. Okay. Like I, I be out there a little too much, honestly. Like yeah. we be out there when we shouldn't and shit be breaking, and mm-hmm. I gotta fix it out there. But you know. So I don't have it as bad as them niggas. So I don't, I, yeah. I, I will miss being a pogue. Yeah. No, pogue is absolutely the thing you want to be, regardless of how many times you may have made fun of it. It's what you want to be, without so a doubt. What do you consider yourself? What would you consider yourself as? A grunt? A grunt, nigga. I was out there, nigga. I wish I was a fucking pogue. I was out there holding the rifle every goddamn fucking day, sitting there running ranges, <laughs> doing the bullshit, doing. Even though I was a radio operator, I'm doing my job yeah. on top of fucking theirs. Yeah. For I'm, what? A, I'm a mechanic, so <laughs> I'm supposed what? to be fixing the shit that breaks. But I'm fixing the shit, but I'm also shooting the weapons and driving. And I'm like... You got to be prepared, nigga. Fuck, fuck all that shit. You never watch these that. war movies? Nigga, fuck that. You you watch Fury? That's facts. You seen that motherfucker didn't want to shoot that shoot them guns? Yeah. Hey, bro, I'll you shoot the gun. It. If it's needed. But if, if it's, it's needed. But, if it, but the problem is, right, it's hard to keep the troops under you, you know, because obviously you get these battalion commanders that want to actually practice because, you know, their job is very important to them. Yeah. But you got a bunch of niggas under you that are thinking, this is fake simulation. Why would I give a fuck? <laughs> not in war. Why would not, I give a single there fuck? There are so many times where they're like, oh, we got to be like combat simulation. I'm like, nigga, my house is down the street. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys have, like, do you guys get like, like random like drills? Like have to do like drills like just in case shit happens? Like uh, mm. like practice drills. I wouldn't. Well, yeah, it's practice, but I wouldn't say it's random. You know, they'll let us know like, hey, we're gonna do this tomorrow. We're gonna do this tomorrow. It's not like oh, we're sleeping at three a.m. and they wake us up and go, let's run a range. They not. Nah, What's a range? Is that like running through the woods with guns? No, no, no. That's a it's, it's a shooting range. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So Some are just like just with rifles, sometimes you bring your vehicle and shoot the fucking shoot the car. No, like basically, uh, you know, grenade launchers or. Have you shot grenade cows. launchers? You well, shot a grenade launcher before? Me well, personally, no. That's well, not. I have like. The shit I have have like forty cows and shit on yeah, it. So no, he's oh, driving really? big, like big artillery, like machines, like um, vehicles. Yeah. All right, so I got a question, right? So say, say, like, say we go to war right now, and you guys are still in the Marines and shit. What is like? What would you be doing? Like, what do you think you'll be doing right now? Well, personally, well, I, well, again, we don't know where we're gonna be stationed. Yeah. Now let's say we're both stationed with infantry units. Yeah. We might actually fuck around and go into that shit. Let's say I'm stationed with a company, right? Yeah. Because okay, so I want you to picture it this way. Imagine you're working for a company, and there's, they're, they're troubleshoot, right? Yeah. You need a Wi-Fi fix at your house. Mm-hmm. This company's gonna go over there and fix your Wi-Fi right at your house. Yeah. Think about that same thing. This company's gonna go out and declare this battlefield and start fighting for you. Yeah. Um, now, if I'm stationed with this company because I'm a radio operator, and if they need comms, I need to be the one to do it. I'm okay. going out with them. So that means you. Same thing with him if he needs to mechanically operate a vehicle out in the field. So bat. Okay. So for you, you're the nigga that has the like the 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 radios and shit. Yeah, I'm the direct communication between us and the shit and yeah. the people back. Okay. At, you know they need the intel. All right. Good question. All right. Good yeah. thing because you 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 ever watched D, uh, Saving Private Ryan? Yeah. You know those niggas that have the phones on their backs? Yeah. You those niggas? Uh, well, obviously, no. We're a little bit technically advanced. We're not going to have big ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. That's what I meant. But their, the enemies were smart at the time. They would shoot niggas like that because they know that's their instant line of communication. Yeah. But is that equivalent to what you do? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn. Yeah, so they somehow knew that I was a radio operator. I'm mac I'm done. Oh, damn. That's crazy. The first person they will shoot is the captain. Someone who has higher rank than us, like the, you know, obviously the commanding officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm probably next. Yeah. You're next? Yeah. Yeah. You can't shoot the medics, right? Well, I mean, they would obviously probably, me and the medics are probably equal because obviously the medics are the dudes that are going to fix the problem. 
and I'm the dude who's going to communicate back to whoever. If wow. they're like, I thought, I thought if they're, they're like in combat and like combat medics, they they will probably shoot the medics, but yeah. they can't like shoot at hospitals. Yeah. Okay, like medical Be- tents. Because I thought there was rules of war where you can't shoot certain niggas. Nah, fuck that. Nah, if fight. you're if you're on like the battlefield, they you don't get shot. Like, yeah, you get well, shot. Nah, war is yeah. war, brother. Uh, but like, war is absolutely war. If it's outside of the battlefield, there are, there are a lot of rules. Like you can't shoot at like churches and hospitals. Okay, that make I mean Japan. Yeah, niggas will get dirty out there. There's a couple of dudes. I don't obviously I don't know. It's way before my time. Yeah. Maybe during uh, Operation Freedom and um, Desert Storm and shit in Iraq. Yeah. The, I think it was either recon or like special forces killed a bunch of niggas and pissed on their bodies. Oh yeah, niggas definitely committed Wait, war crimes. We did back war in Iraq, crimes. But. Yeah, we did. Yeah. That's crazy. War is war. There Actually, are no rules. There really isn't. Even yeah. though how much you sign. But for how about you? How about you, Bash? Like, are you gonna be the niggas that's operating the tanks, like driving the shit? Or are you gonna be just like well, in the? He'll so, definitely be in the tank. Absolutely. Oh, he'll be yeah. in the tank. I, I'll yeah. have to be inside because if it breaks down, I have to fix it right then and there. Okay. But um, so for my vehicle, my vehicle, uh, I work on a vehicle called an AV. So yeah. it's technically <laughs> supposed. So garbage. <laughs> <laughs> they're, so garbage. <laughs> they're technically supposed to like go from water to land because they can like. Oh, them shits. Yeah, yeah. No, they're really cool though. But they're garbage. They're kind of they're cool to look at, but like. Actually yeah. using them shits and operating them is uh, hell. What but, the fuck? Um, they I, had them shits in uh, Iraq, which you know, there's hardly any fucking rivers and ocean for you to go over. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. What so the fuck? So they're just riding around on them tracks and shit. So motherfuckers would ride around on them shits, and like the armor was fucking trash. So anything that was above like fucking, if a forty cal hit that shit, that shit was going through the armor. It really? Through that just straight money, yeah. through. What? Uh, she was not protecting anybody. So they gave you the shitty cars. Well, all the Marine Corps, so I don't know why. Every other military branch gets beautiful, I mean, chow halls, barracks, vehicles, the newest equipment. They get treat them, Treat them niggas like kings. Yeah, like, like they're actually serving their country. Like human For whatever beings. reason, the Marine Corps will hold on like they're hoarders of the oldest shit they could possibly So get. the Marines is at the bottom? I thought Marines like third. Technically, we are the top percent. Technically, we are like the best. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Aren't you the best? Financially and like in actuality, we are, we are at the very bottom. Yeah, terrible, terrible. I literally sometimes felt like I was in jail. Nigga, I was damn near paying the roaches in my room <laughs> rent. I was paying them niggas rent. I was vacating their space. Don't even get me started on like some of the barracks that had mold in them shits. Oh man, black mold is a fucking issue. In the yeah, have black room. mold in that bad. Yeah, yeah. can you die from that? Nigga, if there's black mold in your vents, which no one's ever gonna clean. No one ever. You are did. breathing in black mold constantly. Aren't you going to die? Or can't yeah, you die? You know, we no. had that shit terrible in Oki, and we had to clean them shits oh, ourselves. Oki, Oki barracks? Bro, I don't know what <laughs> what the base commander is doing over there. He possibly couldn't give a shit what about us fuck? getting black mold in our lungs. Niggas couldn't give a fuck. We had to so. hand clean them shits. I'm like, yeah. can I breathe in this shit and die? <laughs> That's real shit. Yo. Like, real quick, a little bit of hazing. I don't know if they did this in back. Niggas would make us close our bathroom door, which isn't that big. You know, like most bathrooms, small. Yeah. Put bleach in it and make us sit in there and clean it for 30, uh, like 30 minutes. Just breathing bleach. High as fuck. Okay. Why? Don't ever ask, do that don't to ever, nobody. Don't ever ask that question. You did that to Marines. somebody? Don't ever ask that question. It's unknown to me. I'm going to do it to you. Oh, so fucking is, you know, God, bro. Well, but um, I would have got I would have got out the Marines, bro. Uh, you quit. think you can, but see, this is I was just talking to in for her as a uh, London, right? I was yeah. just telling her about how you might have heard of this. Niggas will mop the rain. Go outside, take a mop, oh, and I'm mop the sidewalk with the rain. I definitely swept dirt before. Yeah, yeah good times. <laughs> what the right? fuck? Yeah. So, and, and she was like, "I would never. I would never." I said, "I feel you. I feel the same way. I would never." It's a different story in the military. You will get fucked up. You would think that getting like mopping the rain is the easiest thing of your life compared to what they're gonna do to you if you don't do that shit. Nigga, they need so to you s- can say you want to quit. Like, I'll do all literally, shit, but you're I'd rather do sweep the dirt do. than what happens if I don't sweep the dirt. Nigga, we need to start a war. These niggas getting bored out there. What type of shit is this? Whoa, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm an active reserve, brother. I oh yeah, I, I still got like two years on my contract. I'm a uh, I'm limited duty. I get benefits. I'm I'm injured. <laughs> oh yeah, Bash is injured. Don't oh, call me. <laughs> you want you want to tell me your injury, bro? Yeah, tell uh, me about your injury and how you got it. I have yeah. a right medial uh, stress syndrome. I basically get like really bad shin splints in my right shin. And uh, I got them shits in Oki from running too much. Where's Oki at? Japan, right? Yeah. Japan. It's a okay. shitty island. It's the ghetto of Japan. For some reason, wow. no matter where you run, 
it's always a hill. Yeah. <laughs> you're always going uphill no matter where you're going. The shit confused the fuck out of me. <laughs> but basically, I was like getting overweight. So me and a bunch of people were, like working out every day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I worked out a little more than others because I played basketball at the work with like some of the black people there because, you know, we got to stick together. Type shit. So I was like, like in prison. my leg eventually <laughs> was like wearing out. And I was like, Sergeant, my leg kind of hurt. Can I go to medical? He was like, your leg hurt because you don't run enough. I was like, you're the sergeant. <laughs> I kept running and that shit got worse. Nigga, the classic, let me tell you something. The classic for the Marine Corps is change your socks. <laughs> take drink, some Advil. Change your socks, Advil, drink water. That's it. That's all you can do. Wow. I, I'm pretty sure one of the first episodes that came on, so I'm not going to repeat the story, that my roommate in MC, or my schoolhouse died. Yeah, no, you told me about that. Because niggas didn't take his, his injury serious. I think he had a flesh eating virus a and he fucking died. Flesh eating bacterial virus That's died what? because the medics. Or the, the people the didn't want to didn't give a fuck. That's crazy. Yes, my fault. Yeah. So, so Bash, you you don't have a you have a stress fracture or is it just like a syndrome? Like, is it a fracture in your in your shin? Well, stress fractures are like basically like kind of hairline fractures. They don't like crack all the way. Yeah. So they'll like heal over time, but I keep getting them shits. They won't stop. Do you, like you went to an actual doctor? And that's what they said. Yes. What the fuck? So and you just basically just get shin splints for the rest of your life. I mean, they said they'll stop eventually if I, like, relax or, like, get some medical attention. Oh, yeah, or if not. they just fucking break and, you know, they'll heal stronger back. Oh, so you literally just got to break your shit. Uh, if it comes to that, yeah. Yo, get a bat, bro. We got to start this shit right now, nigga. I, nigga. <laughs> that big Matt about to come out, nigga. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> that big Matt, boy. You going to bring the Tomahawk out. I don't know out. about that. But um, real quick, let me tell you something. I don't have no sympathy for these tank driving niggas. Now let me tell you something. I've been spoke about this. I've never, about bash? I've never told nobody about this, but I almost fucking died. I almost died. I swear to God, on everything I love. No, no, no. I was in a Humvee. We're doing a night operation. We were simulating combat in Twenty Nine Palms. So we left in the middle of the night because that's you know strategic. Enemy should blah blah blah. We're driving in a Humvee. It's very dark. And driving with your MBGs, you know the night vision goggles. Yeah. Garbage. I don't know if you've ever driven with night vision goggles, yeah, yeah, it's a but it's the, it is the most terrible device I've ever seen in my life. Night vision goggles are shitty as fuck. Like, you'll yeah. get them and think they're cool. They don't see very fucking far. Oh, watch the thing. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. I know you're straight. No, it's, it's, it's very bad. It's extremely bad. So, obviously, and I feel for the guy because he's driving probably a boot. They probably had a boot drive this tank. We're driving, you know, vehicles coming this way, vehicles coming that way. This yeah. tank, I shit you not, and I wish I was kidding, oh, drives shit. into my Humvee. Drives into the Humvee. He I drives sh- like this? Swear to God. Like, um, Humvee's like here, tanks here, drives into this half of the Humvee. Cuts through the fucking I mean he knows. Tanks will cut through that vehicle. Easy really? money cuts through all the way just before the passenger and stops. Obviously they stop. What the fuck? That was the most, I think that's the closest I've ever right. been to that. My bad, Jason, but this shit keeps like cutting off. Let me see real quick. Yeah, you got it. Oh. You ain't, you ain't get no VA benefits from that? Like, hold that shit from like this. Uh, yeah, try not, to, try not to touch that yeah. part. Um, no, no, I ain't getting no VA benefits. I didn't tell nobody about it. Fuck that. You know, you don't feel like you can at that time. But yeah, no, we'll expl- I, and probably till this day, that Humvee probably has a fucking V split in it from a tank literally coming on, like, oncoming traffic. Really? Yeah, and I was on that side of the vehicle. So how did it really kept going? I'm dead as fuck. Okay, so you're talking about you going like this. Yeah. And then that shit comes like this? No, 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 no. It's straight on. Head on. Oh, and that Cuts shit. the hood of the Humvee. Cuts the hood. So you literally almost died. Absolutely. If you would have kept on going, I would have been smashed. Wow. Yeah. And it's because your boy couldn't see. The well, driver, no one could fucking yeah, see. Yeah, the driver of my vehicle, nor that tank driver, could probably see shit because the MVG goggles are fucking scratched, dog shit, terrible. I hope nobody from, like, Russia or China sees this shit and this oh. one's been going down. They can be like, oh, yeah, these niggas easy to kill. Nah. You'll fuck around and find out. Our special forces. Yeah. We may not be demons, we, but our special we are, forces we are right. Are but the special demons. forces, them niggas go crazy. They go fucking. They right. get to go they beers for a reason. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, might be better. Nah, they serious, bro. Damn, bro. Mm-hmm. Shit, you got any life threatening experiences, Bash? Um, well, kind of. I'm gonna go pee real fast. Uh, AVs are getting like disbanded because um, like some people unfortunately died in the. Uh, Wait, huh? Yeah, some people died in AV going in the water. Going in the water, like what drowned? Yeah. So um rest in peace to them. It was uh Did you know him? No, nah, I didn't know him. I know people that know him and like that that's a a moment in our like our battalion and our community that like 
still affects us, but we're switch transitioning to a different vehicle. Yeah. But like, there was one time where like damn near the same thing happened to me. Like we're in the middle of the ocean, and there's like water coming into the vehicle. Because and that like, shit sinks. Yeah, that shit was. It's like fucking like seventeen fucking tons. That shit will sink fast. If so you guys are like in like ocean, ocean, like yes, like we're Pacific in the middle ocean. of the ocean, driving like a seventeen ton tank, and if everything's not right, like that shit will sink. Wow. And like motherfuckers were like, so they're supposed to like. Like, I'll check that shit and make sure everything's right before they go inside that shit. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't perfect. And, like, shit was, like, coming in water. The fucking, the propeller wasn't working. Luckily, there's, like, a, we can, there's a fucking function that lets yeah. you use the tracks to move it. But, like, shit was, like, failing, like, very quickly on that fucking vehicle. On was, yours or that? that? On, on mine. Wow. But there's, like, there's just, apparently, the same thing happened, but, like, it, like, more like water got in really quickly and that shit just like sunk to the bottom wow i think one person escaped and it was the driver wow so they was really like trapped in there yeah how many was he do you know uh i think it was either nine or ten damn it's these these big these are big cars like these, big are, sh- these are tanks these know. are big tanks yeah so are these things like old they sound old yes most of the vehicles in the marines are old as shit that's why we're getting rid of the av and they're making this shit called the acv it's newer it's also a piece of shit, in what my opinion, f- but it's newer. It's supposed to be better. Yeah. It's honestly a lot harder to work on than the AV, and some people would rather have the AV. Yeah. But like, a, like, eventually, I think that fucking MOS is going to be going soon. What so, the fuck? Because yeah, mili- the Marines, specifically, get all the old shit. Yeah. yeah. Like a hand me down. Wait, hold on. Uh, my bad, Justin. This shit keep turning off, bro. Damn, my God, sucks. We're the Tito Jackson of the military. <laughs> you said Tito Jackson. Yeah, that's like this shit keeps. Hold on, hold this real quick. Uh, commentary, people. Commentary, commentary. So type shit. Okay, so I when I was gonna talk about this story, I heard there was a story. Since you was talking about people drowning in the fucking shit, there was a group, a couple, right? I forgot where they went, but we'll say we'll say like Jamaica or Mexico. So they went out on a snorkeling trip, right? Went to the middle of the ocean, went snorkeling. They freaking. So it's like a it's a couple they're probably in like their forties and shit like that. They went on to a snorkeling trip with twelve people. So they went out snorkeling and they decided to swim a little further because you know they're they're used to this shit. Must have been white. Hell yeah, <laughs> nigga. They went, <laughs> bro. They went out a little further and they come up. They look around. The boat is gone. The boat literally left them niggas in the middle of the ocean, Nig- and they said they had to swim to the nearby island, which was like a good maybe ten miles. And they said, doctors said if they was maybe just a little bit older or not experienced enough, they literally would have died in the middle ocean. Like, I'm talking about scuba tanks. Nigga, I would have died. I'm, yeah. Nigga, I'm like, what the oh, fuck? Oh, my shit not flashing green, cuz. Now nah, you straight. All it's because right. you're not talking loud enough, nigga. Put some bass in your voice, ho. Yo. Nigga, just can't play that sweet volume. Like, yeah, all right, nigga. <laughs> yo, Jason, try to hold it like this. Like, oh. hold I it like it. a dick. Yeah, I might be. Yeah, hold it like a, like a shaft, bro. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I didn't make that face for a reason. Yo, what the fuck? Why does my shit keep turning off? This shit all with me. Fuck North Carolina. I, I'm hey, telling dude. you, bro. Just kind of live in a good, bad state. Yeah, this shit <laughs> is holding, nigga. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this shit was just good for a second. This shit keep turning off. Talk for you. Can, let's, let, uh, you have any other stories you want to talk about so I can see if your mic's working? <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. I got a, I got a million stories. Oh, man, just don't don't tell too many. Wait, no, no, no. Hold up. Yeah, because Chris, Chris want this one. I'm, I'm going to save that one. Um... Well, we could talk about how, um... <laughs> bro, I got you. I'm Why not, the I'm fuck not, he pull up like that? We you say he you, not bro. telling the story. I'm not going to hold you. I'll talk about a boot camp story. That doesn't involve me. Yeah, we good. I got you. We'll everybody talk about got, a boot camp everybody story. Everybody got boot camp stories. So, and this story doesn't involve me whatsoever. Now, it is about my company in boot camp. Now, I was with a company called India Company. We have everything by A through... India? Uh, yeah, India. India. A through Z in North Carolina because you had women. So you, all the, the XYZ was women companies. No, it wasn't. Are you serious? It went to like... No. Oh. No, nah, because I... Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm I'm a little bit off the, uh, the walk. But... <laughs> Don't worry. It's Mio. Um, nah, so India companies with who I was with, Third, Pathern, or third Platoon. And... um. Before I got there, hold on, you should keep turning off, bro. <laughs> Damn, nigga. Yeah, we might have to. Which way? I'm seeing we it. We might have to what? 
Redo the podcast? Like, no, not redo the podcast. Sorry, it's just get... I'll leave. Huh. No, no I, I can see that. It's picking up on there. And I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. Do you want to hear yourself? Nah. Like, you're literally, like, stopping. It's like you're talking, and then it just stops. Damn. You want to try? You want to hear no. yourself so you know what happens? I hate my voice. But I can see myself over there. Does that count? No, nah, you're speaking good now. Like, how you're holding it is great. Right, now it's just stop. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, Fuck, it's not good. Well, they hate me. They really holding you right now. Damn. I don't All know right. what's going on. Dead homies. Dead homies. Man. Yeah, that shit. Keep stopping. Just keep going. All right, fuck it. it, it it'll even out, I guess. I don't fucking know. All right. I mean, uh, I could switch it. Yeah. Uh, I could talk about some of my boot camp stories, like uh, when a nigga cried on the fucking quarter deck. Being fucking what's it? it? Being it was like a oh, fear man, for everybody bro. at boot camp. Oh and man, they it'd one. I forgot they it'd our scribe. I forgot why. The scribe is a nigga that literally writes everything <laughs> down in boot camp. Let's see how this goes. And being it is just like them uh, hazing you for however long they fucking feel like it. They it'd our scribe for a solid forty five minutes straight. And that nigga started crying 15 minutes in. So that nigga was crying for a good 30 minutes while being exercised by grown ass men. And I had to hold in my laugh because there, I, I was trying not to laugh, but I was also feeling bad because like if that was me, I would have, I might have swung on somebody. So you, somebody made a nigga cry is what I'm hearing. Yeah, niggas they make niggas cry at boot camp all the fucking time. You cried. Yeah, well, I actually did cry, but that was because uh, I think no, was, that's, that's real shit. I was I bestest a real nigga. Nah, real nah, niggas nah, cry, nah. nigga. It's I was being I <laughs> said real it's niggas. Cry. I was running around and shit, and I had pneumonia, and I didn't notice until it was too late, and my body kind of like just failed, and I passed out, and I woke up crying. You cried, Jason? Hell yeah! No, so let me. Is it picking it up? Yeah, oh yeah, go. I see. I see. Nah, nah, real shit. We was um getting haircuts, and because there's like 80, 90 niggas in the platoon. We have to wait in line, and they can only do four cuts at a time, and they're ITN niggas, and I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just didn't want to scream. <laughs> I, I don't know what's wrong. I just didn't want to Nah, sometimes you just day, don't want to scream, bro. I wasn't feeling bro. it, and... Um, yeah, didn't, they, didn't you say they made you do the little shit like, ah, uh, some shit like that? Oh, that was Well, they, you know, they would go... <laughs> oh, yeah, like that shit was part. crazy. But no, nah, they... um, <laughs> I don't know how they knew, right? Yeah. But... Obviously, I've stated before, I don't fuck with my father like that. I really don't. And niggas brought up my dad for no reason. Don't know why. So you got daddy problems? And I didn't say nothing. Obviously, I didn't say nothing. Tears started coming up my eyes. He's like, oh, you got daddy problems. You're a fucking pussy, ain't you? You oh my God. no father figure in your life. Yeah, said, they really don't give I a said, fuck. Damn, bro. Lie and then I started crying. I was like, <clears throat> fuck. Yeah, but when these niggas go to the real world, they go, that's going to happen to them when they go to the job. Fuck ass niggas. Them niggas ain't have daddies. Fuck. Yeah. No, I respect my I respect my children. Fuck wrong with y'all niggas, bro. Talking about niggas like that. But nah. yeah, that's the only time I cried in boot camp. Damn. Yeah. Nigga, like, I cried because I had pneumonia and them niggas was it me. Yeah. Let's we'll talk about the sand. And I woke up crying. The that sand, sand face? You no, know, I tell you, uh, the sand fleas. Oh yeah. Oh, the oh, sand yeah. fleas? Oh yeah, they. Pff, nigga. I, yo, I hope y'all writing down notes. All y'all niggas in high school, I think about going Someone to the Marines. Someone warned me about the sand fleas, and it still wasn't a good enough warning, bro. How big are the sand fleas? Like uh, this tick size. Yeah, they're they're not they're not like really fleas. big, yeah. but there's a lot of them. So like, do they feel like like mosquito bites, mm, or do they feel like, like bug stings? You. Like someone's pinching you. Real like quick. this? Not a little bit harder. Ah, oh, like, like that. Ah, what? Really? Yes, yes. Yes. And like multiple of them? Yes. Yeah. They Thou- live in the sand. Right? Yes, there's thousands of them. So you can you can see them on you. Uh, you won't that's... see them. I wasn't looking. Oh, you, <laughs> you won't just, see them. You just You'll just feel the pain. You just be like, what the fuck just bit me? You don't know what bit you though. What if they, they don't got no diseases? Or they could have diseases. Maybe. Maybe that's the reason we all get fucking sick at boot camp. What type yeah. of shit is going on, bro? I but, can't, um, bro. I can't even I ain't gonna lie. JB saying like I'm a real big baby when I'm sick. I really am, nigga. If I get a stuffy nose, I can't sleep or I can't breathe when I sleep, I I throw a fit, nigga. Dude don't know about the double dragon. <laughs> what would y'all call it? VGE? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it, yeah. The double dragon? VGE, that should sound like a It's a called move. VGE, don't know they, what it stands for. Oh uh, god damn, I forgot. That shit sound like a I move, know the nigga. The V is like varial, valerial. Some shit, right? Valeria? So we call it double dragon because there's shit going to be coming out of your, your ass and your mouth. Like you're what? Gonna be, you're going to be throwing up and shitting all yeah, day. Yeah, throwing up and shitting all day. Oh, hell no. You talking about like food poisoning? That's basically what it's like, yeah. Hell no, nigga. I had food poisoning one time, bro. I wanted to cry, bro. That was the worst. 
So you guys was had food poisoning at boot camp. Yeah, but you can't really do much about it because you're doing shit all day every day. Wow. They like try to give you like medicines and shit for like work. Okay. three days, and then like, hey, you're back at it, nigga. I don't give a fuck. You the scat, you nasty, disgusting thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> you <laughs> disgusting thing. thing. Boy, sound off, nasty thing. <laughs> okay, I got a question for you. So, do you think doing all this stuff made you guys better people? No. Well, <laughs> no, 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 no. What made me a better person was talking to you guys, real shit. Okay. Not the Marine Corps. I respect it. Yeah. That's real like shit. The only thing the Marine Corps really did is uh put money in your pocket, raise my patience. Mm. I feel like I'm a more patient person now. Cause all this shit that's been happening to you. Yeah, I, I kind of had to be. I, I kind of like had to not retaliate. Oh, uh, I get you. I get you. Niggas literally kind of fight back. No, nah, you can't really do shit, bro. Wow. I mean, you're under. There a was contract. a point where I'd look at niggas and be like, "Listen, I will fight you." Like, I that that shit doesn't matter anymore. But like. I'm I'm definitely more patient now. Mm. So so Baz, Jason has a lot of friends that that he's still cool with in the Marines. Are you still gonna be like that with some of your? Do you have like? Oh yeah, I still like text that? some of them now. Like, do you have any of those like where you might like visit them if they like visit them? Like, I don't know. Some of the niggas live in like fucking Wisconsin. Yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah, some of the niggas is pretty far. I'll text Dead them. See how they doing. But we are so they're not, but. Would you if they would if they say they'll come to you? Would they, would you be like sure? Oh, that? they want to come to Jersey or New York. I said if you come to Jersey or New York, just text me. I actually have like three people who live in Jersey. Oh, really? So when they get out, I might fucking go see them or some shit. See, he's low key tweaking because niggas obviously have offered. Oh, I'll come to Jersey. You know, I'm close by. Don't come to Jersey. I tell them niggas, I have nothing for you here. There's nothing. Uh, to there, do. There's really not shit. To Don't do. come. That's More what than, I be telling niggas. Yeah, that's what I, Jakai should have told them. And right? one of the niggas that live in Jersey, lived in Jersey, is staying in California. So I probably won't see him for a while. The other nigga is like, he's in like, I think he's in the Philippines right now. Hey, my hey, brother, he Filipino too right now. Actually, oh, he's yeah. not Filipino. Nigga. No, he's nigga, that, that's a damn deployment. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> that nigga in there guarding something with a with a rifle every day. Real Damn. shit. So you guys could have been deployed to the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. I Did you went pick anywhere, or nigga. just whatever? I've I've been to Korea. You been to South Korea? Yeah. We can't go to North nigga, Korea. You think he went to that. North Korea? <laughs> I don't we know, not like, getting in. Boy. Like you, like you ever see like the borders and just see people just waiting like help? No, help. personally, no. You ever seen people say escape? Why the fuck would I have seen someone escape? No, I don't know if, if I some... did, why would I fucking say? I don't want to say you? shit. You want to say shit, real nigga? Free him. Making sure, bro. Free that nigga. You want to help him? Hell no. No, nigga. That's none of my business. Wow. Do your thing though. Hey, real shit, bro. Okay, I'm gonna cheer for you. You gonna you gonna be clapping like yeah, yeah, nigga. I hope all my niggas in Korea get free. Like. Like I seen, like you seen, like that that one girl that escaped North Korea. Yeah, no. she didn't even know she was Asian. I know, right? She didn't even know what white people were. Nah, that's crazy though. They unlocked. Did you? Did I tell you about the story about how that one nigga escaped North Korea? Yeah. Did I tell you, Bash? Nah. Yo, all right. So there was a nigga that escaped North Korea. So what he basically did was he had a tire and an air pump, and he used that as a raft to get from North Korea to another island, which was which took him five hours. God damn. And then from when he was on that island, he used wood and like, you know, the little, you know, the little wo- wooden like p- uh, pallets that they put like, like uh, water bottles on. Yeah. He used that and made a raft and floated another five hours to a clo- to another island where he got like refugees at like uh in like South Korea. And he did this shit in the, the dawn of winter, my nigga. So this nigga almost froze to death. You'll do a lot of shit for freedom. Nah, a little kid, nah I ain't gonna lie. Facts. All right. Do you all right? So say if it's us three in North Korea, you think we can escape? Fuck no. You don't think so, bro? Fuck I, no. I've said this so many. That's equivalent to the apocalypse. I'm not gonna lie. Come to you. on, and I've bro. told you this many times. If I'm in the apocalypse, I'm killing myself. I'm, no, bad. I'm not no dealing, bad. I am not dealing no with the turmoil <laughs> of the apocalypse, bro. Bad. It's time for me to go. No, bad. You gotta survive, but think about it. I don't gotta it. do shit. I'm think, not gonna lie to you, bro. It's just right, we just have to make it. I've been seeing these shits on TikTok. We literally just have to use our bikes and try to get to the southern bo- border it's as quickly as possible. Do you know the borders are lined up with men? I understand they're lined all up. Times? I understand they're lined up. But you got to think about I like this. I think y'all niggas is too like, y'all see the wall and y'all like, it's not that hard. Nigga, no, they guarding that shit. So you rather just live fuck out so of So you rather just live in that shit the whole time? I literally just told you I'm killing He's myself. Nigga, <laughs> he ain't going to let you kill yourself. They got guards on deck. You going to live through that, bro. Nigga, he don't got a choice. I'm going to find a way. You going to find a way? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, why don't you just die, or die trying, bro? Fuck it. Yeah, if you're gonna die, why not? I'm trying, nigga. That's that's a lot of effort. I'm not gonna lie to you. Nigga, nigga said that's a lot of Far effort. Far too much effort to just leave North Korea. Oh my god. This is my where we get demonetized. I gotta start blooping this North Korea shit out, bro. <laughs> 
This might be the shit. <laughs> we'll get bombed. We'll get bombed. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know something that we don't know? You got intel? Like North Korea totes it on live national news. They love talking about their fucking nukes. Nigga, like I heard they they fired some shit on Japan or some shit like that. Nigga, they threaten the world with nukes at least twice, like, a month. Nigga, I don't yeah, know what's love that, that shit. I don't know why. Let that bitch fly, nigga, like they say about Steph Curry, nigga. Huh? Yeah, we throw some back. Wait, what uh, What did K-Flock say? No. Now, nah, what did K-Flock say? You know what he said. Fuck what you he throw said. You throw five, I throw ten, nigga? You, you the problem. I'm letting you know. <laughs> our, world, our world will end as we know it. Everybody's just going to send nukes. One nuke point. goes off, everyone throws a nuke, and we're all dead. Wait, you Elon Musk at, bro? I'm ready to go to Mars. Y'all niggas wildin'. That's real shit. You going to Mars with him? I'm going somewhere. Fuck it, I'll go to Antarctica. No one throwing shit at Antarctica. I'm a space cadet. I can't breathe. Yeah, dude. Or feel. I'm bugging. Nigga fucked up the lines. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so, but you could have, all right, anyway, but you said you could have uh, what's it called? Um, picked wherever you wanted to go, or no. there's like it's just whatever. They tell you you have an option. No, I my father was in the Marine Corps, so he has boys that were still in it at the time. He's a master sergeant for people who, you know, place niggas where they need to be. Yeah. So I I chose Hawaii. Okay. Yeah. Must be nice. Badge, yeah. what, badge did you get to choose anything or no? Well, we kind of like got options. I wanted the option to either go to like Japan or Hawaii. Yeah. They only let one person from my class go Hawaii. They let like four niggas go to Japan, and then the rest go to Cali. It was like Cali or North Carolina. And I was not going it's to a North Carolina. Right there. Yeah, yeah that's a good pick. Imagine you were still down here, nigga. You would have hated down this motherfucker. Been a lejeune. You would have tried to go play pickleball. Somebody would have took your shit. Even if, you, even though you are military, they'd be like, "Nah, bro, we got reservations here." No, nah, we have reservations, sir. Fucking dickheads. I hope I hate y'all. <laughs> I'm just trying to. Your reservations was beating our ass, bro. Nah, just a pickleball state. I'm, I'm convinced couldn't now. Beat the case. <laughs> shit. But I. But is it is that where because didn't you go, didn't you both go to Japan? Yeah, yeah. So that's just because are you supposed to go to Japan? Like is that mandatory? Nah, I thing? went I went on a UDP, and because there's like tracks over there. Yeah, and there's I I keep forgetting like the actual reason with for the UDP, but I know that we have an agreement with fucking Japan and Oki. Yeah, and we have tracks over there to help, and we maintain the tracks that's over there. Okay, and we send like. A company every six months to go out there, but mm-hmm. I think they're getting rid of that UDP now. I think they're going to Guam now. Guam? Oh, I heard Guam is beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Damn. You probably won't be able to do much shit out there, but it's pretty nice. Damn. We can't even, you can't even go to the southern island of Oki when you go to Oki. Nah. Which Why? Is, is that the well, nice part? Yes, it's the best part. What the but fuck? that's the part where like everyone, like that's like the city, the southern part. Yeah. And you know, Marines aren't really good people. No, so. we're terrible. We're terrible human beings, bro. The Air Force, yeah, the stereotypical niggas that would just be barging through the town, drunk as shit, just driving. And yes, just, I pretty can, much can, fighting yeah. niggas in bars and shit. Yeah, oh, what fighting niggas bro? at bars for sure. That's a classic. Like you been in a bar fight before? Yeah, good times. But against a bunch of Japanese niggas, not the Japanese whoever. niggas, just whoever. It might be other Marines. <laughs> it's really? usually other Marines. It's usually other Marines. Yeah. Like I'm talking about bar fight. Ah, yes, bottle nigga, bar fights. Like you, you, you hit a nigga in on the head a with a big bottle? ass fight inside or outside of the bar. Yeah, Bash, you hit a nigga with a henny bottle. I wish God, I wanted man. to knock that nigga out. Yo, what's good with y'all? Y'all was drunk and shit. Of course, <laughs> you ain't nothing better to do. Yo, y'all niggas is sick, bro. I hate being sober. So, uh, so what is y'all? What is y'all favorite memory? Like favorite part of the Marines or best part that you have? My friends. I mean, I made some of the best friends I'll ever meet in this world. I mean, I love y'all niggas to death. Yeah, with all the respect. Love them niggas a lot too, without a doubt. My I mind. respect it. I understand because you be, you niggas went through like literally the mud. Yeah, there's like. We literally bonded through trauma. Like, yeah, I think that's the best way to uh, to that's, like that's build friendships. It's the greatest friend to make. Y'all it's, bond through trauma. Y'all got common interests now. Cause it's lit. Like playing basketball, I, I I haven't been through trauma like y'all niggas. But that's still doing all that shit. All that physical shit still be traumatic. When niggas yell at you, and I feel like that's why mad niggas, especially like with basketball teams, they always bond pretty well over like adversity and. Shit like that, but y'all, uh, y'all love. I can understand how y'all build probably good friendships out there. Cause just imagine you guys come back to the barracks, y'all just tired of shit. Like yo, bro, my fucking leg. Bash say, like, oh my, my fucking leg hurt, bro. Some nigga laughing, making fun of you and shit. And now y'all having a good time. Nigga, some of the best times in the Marine Corps were getting fucked up all day, getting terrible shit done to you, coming back drinking with your friends and just complaining about it. Mm. Some of the best days were some of the worst days, yeah, which absolutely. is the funniest part. Yeah, absolutely. Like you will have the worst day of your fucking life. And then an hour later, you're laughing and like, yeah, this is the worst day ever. <laughs> so yeah. is that, do you guys have like, is it like a nine to five y'all to work? Hell no, not for me. 
What the <laughs> oh shit, that shit. Yeah, it's them. whenever they really need you, bro. Fuck really? a fuck a time because you get paid around the clock. You get paid twenty four hours. It's a it's a salary. So like, oh, it's a salary. It, they really just make up schedules. Yeah, like, whatever they want. One time, like when I was getting out, like they tried to like fix the schedule, like get you out at a certain time. Yeah. Literally the day before I left it was like. Yeah, we might go back to working until like seven, eight o'clock. I was like, I'll have fun with that. At night? Yes, nigga. So from seven yeah, in the morning from, to seven from seven in the morning to seven at night. Okay. Yeah. So, so what's your salary? Some penny shit. Some yeah, penny yeah. shit. It, we get it differs like, between like pay and grade, but I made like yeah. fucking what was like twelve hundred a paycheck. Twelve hundred a paycheck? What, every two weeks? Yeah, it's yeah. the first and the fifteenth. Oh, first and fifteenth. Oh, that's not bad. And you get disability now, right, Bash? Yeah. I, I don't know when that shit's gonna finalize, but I get it eventually. So is that is it like that's good money? Like you gonna be living great off that? I won't be living great, but I'll have a couple dollars in fucking healthcare. Yeah. Mm. Do you guys still have military discounts? I don't ever use my shit, bro. I'm be honest, with you. I'm ashamed to sit there and give somebody my veteran card. I'm too prideful. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> really? Nah, bro. Nah. Fuck that. <laughs> I am cheap as fuck. I walk in a full locker right now. Military discount. Nigga. How much is that discount? Like fifteen. 15, 20, depends, on the depends on the store. It depends on yeah. the store, really. Does every store have it? Nah. Most Walmart does it. Fuck no. Walmart, by the way. Wow, Walmart. They don't Walmart? have Apple Pay and military <laughs> discounts, and y'all supposed to be the best store? Step your game up, nigga. I'm not going to lie to you. Niggas don't care that you're in the military, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Really? It just seems glorified to everybody else, but yeah, niggas don't honestly. give a shit. They really couldn't care less that I sat there and wow. like sold my If I my pulled up to somebody boy. out in the street and said, I'm a gunnery sergeant, they're like, okay. They are. Right, <laughs> The fuck that mean to me? I pull them on a game, they go, Corporal, <laughs> pop, pop, pop me off. See, that's good for those niggas that, that haze you, though, because they feel the same way. They not, they not niggas. Nigga, they stayed in. They don't got no, they don't got, y'all, because they, because they need power. They don't yeah, got no power in the real in. world, nigga. Fuck. Nah, niggas the same nigga now. Nah, niggas don't really get it. For some niggas, maybe not like Bash, but for me personally, I mean, I sold away four years of my life. All the growth and development you get in the real world versus a fake world that's just organized and everybody tells you what to do, like you're a fucking kid. So basically high school, but like part two of high school or college, you don't get to develop as a, as a, as a person, really. You don't get to understand the real world. So if you would go back five years, yeah, would you have made the same decision you made? Yeah, you still you still go into the Marines. Me personally, yeah. Okay, how about you, Bash? Would you go back into the Marines five mm-hmm. years ago? Like I'm saying, like when you was about to go into the Marines, imagine going back there right now, knowing everything that you've been through. Would you go back? At, at that point, I just have to. I have to, I have to go through all again. Just, at least for the good times. At least fuck it. I'm telling you, bro. As much as we talk shit about it, ah, oh, like there's. I'm telling you, those people that I fucking met in the times we had, you cannot replace. You can't. You can't. Without Damn, a doubt. Bro. Like, imagine this trip we're having right now with all of our boys every single day. Boys, boys, boys. Always having your back. That's what it is. Four years straight. That's tough. That's tough, bro. But that's good, though. Glad y'all niggas out. Thank y'all for serving y'all time, bro. Fuck that. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you, Bash. Fuck the niggas, I should bro. put this out on Memorial Day weekend. Hey, yo. Niggas don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Memorial Day isn't in the troops anymore. It's about the discounts. That's Is facts. Really? Type shit and party and fireworks. Yup. Type shit. Yes, sir. Where's cookout Memorial- at? Nigga, where is cookout? I'm about to pull up again. Where's your guy with the Publix? Where the fuck he the brought, wings? He been back. He came back a while ago. I think. It's Wait, why there. the fuck you didn't give us the wings? They Hold on. You want me to grab? It? I got to pee anyway. No I mean, if you want to, I'll, I'll grab it. There's no I'll, wings ish. I'll be back. No you, more what? You can start bringing up your uh, podcast questions because we're we're reaching uh, the time. Yeah, I got some topics, oh. but I, we, me and Bash are just freestyle talk while you come back. There ain't no wings. Apparently, there was no nothing left at Publix. I'm sorry, Ish, bro. I'm not sorry. You depressed? T- take a take a take a blinky, bro. Go ahead. You deserve one. Hey yo, but all right, Bash. So what? Now you back? You're a free man. Bash did his time in the pen, bro. Nigga, finally out the pen. I'm out the pen. You feel me? Free me till it's backwards, nigga. Nigga, you already freed. It's on already the dad homie. It's the, backwards now, nigga. Why are you talking like this, nigga? On the dad homie. On the dad homie, nigga. Dad homie. Oh wow. So, what's you, what's the first thing you gonna do when you get back to Jersey, bro? Um, have that's a, a good kid, question. nigga. What? Yeah, you the first. You gonna be the first. Not even kid. close, nigga. I'm a nigga. I'm all about the condiments, nigga. <laughs> you didn't tell me that last time. I'm a new man, nigga. What the fuck? Nigga, that was a year ago. You I, changed? I, yes. Wow. I changed since yesterday, nigga. Nigga, what? <laughs> I'm evolving, nigga. I got I'm wrap it up, nigga. I'm glad you realize that now. You nigga, almost fucking folded. You know what my motto is, nigga? That might be a kid. My right motto here. is fuck them kids. Nigga, you might have one. You don't know. What if they lying to you? 
They lying to me. That's, keep, that's your surprise when keep, you get the jersey. Keep that shit there. That's keep gonna be a surprise when you get the jersey. Nah, bro. I'm straight. They're gonna be like, bash the bad day. I don't even nigga, I don't even talk to females <laughs> like that, bro. I don't get bitches. Daddy I don't have enough bash. bitches to be talk, having Stop. kids. No, I just came back to the cap. What? Excuse me? Dash got more What are you eating? Got, got more what? Fries. What the Got fuck? more what? I dare you. Got a lot of hope. Nah, bro. Nah. You, you literally just you're talking to London on the track right now. What is wrong with you? I am speaking to one female in my life. And we just started about two. You know years how many ago. females I'm speaking to? Wow. Zero. Damn near negative one. I'm speaking to one female, and I really pre- shout out, shout out. Yeah, I mean, you making it? And I really appreciate real happy it right now. Huh? He was geeking. I hope so. She he made me. Yeah, you she make made me about, happy. You got this you, nigga yeah, swinging his feet on his phone. Not gonna lie to you. What? <laughs> swinging his feet and giggling type shit. Facts. It's facts. It's facts. It's facts. Yo, bro. Right, you guys want? You guys want to talk about some some weird shit now, bro? Yeah. We tor- get towards the end. Let's get it. All right. So I got a question for y'all. So say the Joe Biden says that he's commencing the purge, and it will be on the first of June every year until God knows how long. How long do you think you guys could live last? Live for. So the purge is gonna be on June first. I'm chilling. You think you can survive your whole entire life? Hell yeah. You don't think you ever gonna get caught lacking? First of all. Nobody really has a problem. Well, niggas hate me. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of niggas that don't like me out there on this earth. That's what I'm saying. But I really, no one ever wanted to fight me. I've only been knocked out once in my entire life. No one ever really wants to fight. Is that me. the Marine Corps? Yeah. Got, like you like cold blooded knockout. We'll save it. Jesus but, yeah, Christ. No, I've been I've been completely blackout knocked out. Okay. Yep. But no, that's I mean it's the first time and only time in my life I've been blacked out, like knocked the fuck out for real, for real. But you don't know because the, in the purge, there's niggas that just be out there killing niggas. I'm going to be in my fucking house on Firewatch. Nigga, you don't know about Firewatch. Nigga, I'll I'm, be up anyways. I'm, I'm up the whole night waiting for somebody to test my gangster, I'm nigga. Saying. I know, but like you got to be. That homie. But you know there's certain like people that will go into houses. Nigga, I'm posted up. I'm posted up in my crib. Okay, what if you're like 50, my nigga? You still going to be I'm good? I'm posted up in my crib, rifle Again, in hand. You don't understand. We were doing this already. We've been we've had twelve nigga, hour shifts. You know what duty? So can is, I stay nigga? at your we house? Just up oh, no, can nigga. I stay at your house? Nah, I'm not your bodyguard. I'm my own. Nigga. In my family. Oh, now you act like the niggas in the movies. Hey, bro. you gotta protect yourself, nigga. What the protect fuck? Protect your neck. I don't. What fuck you want me I, to do? Fuck! I look like God summon holes refugee in you. Just, nigga, just I gotta me. protect nigga, my own. Am I supposed to be John Wick for you, nigga? I'm protecting bit. myself. Nigga, I'm just sitting at my front door like this. Nigga, what if I pay you? Now, now, good question. All right, would you go out and purge? No. Nah, you won't go out and purge? Why would I go out and I got, purge? I got, I got, I got. What no, is there to do out there I got no animosity. Got I don't no want to steal nothing. I don't want to kill nobody. I'm straight. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm, I'm not happy, but I'm not that fucking. D- so you won't go and like steal nothing? I'm not that no, bad I'm, of a life I'm where good. I got to steal and I'm kill good. people I'm not dumb. Good. I'm not dumb enough to go out there, bro. I'm not. Nigga, what? That's what enough you, out of me. What if your ex tried coming for you, bro? What you gonna do? She fuck. I'm not gonna lie to you. Clip in there. Why you trying to whisper that shit? I ask her. You know, you know, PTSD, I ask her. But now nah, I'm clipping that. I'm clipping that. Oh, shit. Fuck? Nigga walked in the door and the shot. Bah. Now, I don't, know if I, I don't know if I'd kill her, but I mean, nah, if she comes per- after me. Nigga, anybody who walks in my home on the purge, clip. But what if she hires an assassin, nigga? I was thinking cool. about that. Somebody might people try to hire an assassin. I kill no assassin. I got a few people that hate me. I don't know if they got nigga, enough I'm money nice. to hire assassins. I'd be thinking. You ain't that nice. I am the I'm the nigga who thinks about the worst cases. UJ loved to claim me Batman, right? Because yeah. he overthinks. I overthink pessimistically. Even in this house right now, you don't think I've thought about somebody coming in here and trying to fuck us up? I've yeah, already think, thought about I it. I thought about that too. Yeah, I'm already thinking yeah, about it. I already that know shit. my all my exit strategies. I, what I, I gotta do. Yeah, I know what I'm. That's why I wanted to bring the tomahawk Again, upstairs. Now, if someone experience comes <laughs> to me, I'm already thinking about. I'm already thinking about it. Type shit. So you already thinking about type shit? Now he might get my ass because he's a professional assassin, but. Who the fucking jersey's affording a goddamn professional good assassin? No one. That that is, only like no, $10,000 no on one's, Dark no one's aff- a lot. Nah, no one's affording a good one. They might Mm-mm. they might pay someone a couple bands to try and shoot me, but they not paying for no fucking assassin. But you don't see the niggas in Florida that be hiring, the, the women in Florida be hiring like hitmen to kill their ex-husbands and it actually works? These, That's w- these women n- work at Walmart. Niggas, niggas in Florida be lacking. <laughs> no, they, they don't. Be lacking. Don't they be having the they good be, shit? They be worried about golf. I'm worried about my life. I'm gonna say, but like, I would not think a hitman coming after me. I'm thinking, nigga, I'm about thinking it. everybody like, after me, nigga. I'm thinking, but nigga, I've lived my life for 23 years. I'm, you know, obviously changing now that the world was against me. No matter if niggas were doing right for me, I was thinking everybody's against me, no matter what. 
Nigga, I'm thinking y'all could be assassin right now, especially Jakai. I'm on his ass. Sometimes I think y'all I'm watching y'all you, NPCs nigga. in my life. NPCs. <laughs> nigga, there's the most NPC nigga I know. No. I walk up there's great day, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's NPC. Nigga said my positive. Darius does not life. have any negativity in his life. He is an NPC. He's, he's an just <laughs> he's a goddamn no. vendor. Like, By NPC, I mean as in like you guys were genetically programmed to make my life go out as it is right now. That's what I think in my head, but like nigga, that, like the Truman Show. Normally, I'm sitting here opposing niggas' life. I'll fucking sit here and disagree with a nigga's choices just because I want to see what you do. I know that doesn't mean you gotta agree with everything I say. You might, you still steer me on a path either way. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm a big influence in a podcaster's life. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's a fucking <laughs> dork. But uh, so y'all think y'all could live like a normal, like healthy life in in the purge? If it yeah, came no, I think so. Yeah. I'm sure. So? That's what I said, yeah. Oh, real niggas. On the dead homies, nigga. nigga. Jakai chilling. This building fucking locked up like a motherfucker, <laughs> bro. You never know, hey, brother. Bro. The, the Unless his neighbors don't fuck with him, he's straight. Even if they don't, he's still straight. Nah, no, they might fuck with him now. We've been wilding. This nigga, it should be screaming in the middle of the night randomly. Yeah. Nigga, whoa. <laughs> Y'all think Darius is it? Nigga woke up in the middle of the night talking about, get the bucket. Get, get, bucket. get the bucket. Get this the nigga, bucket. This nigga, Jason, <laughs> gave me a cup, roofied me, and I don't know what the fuck the happened. Nigga is just a lightweight. Nigga's lightweight. No, hey, the funniest shit, shit I was good. Darius will start drinking and start working out. Like uh, aggressively, oh I was work, work out regardless. Nah, bro, good. you'll work out every now and then. But when you drunk, you just gotta, re- you just gotta do push ups. <laughs> start knocking out the bullshit. Man. Nigga started drinking and brought out the ab cruncher. I'm like, nigga, what is you doing? Nigga was bugging. Niggas wouldn't let me get right. It's 12 a.m. Nigga right got the ab cruncher on, bro. bro. Relax. I was just shit. The niggas lucky he got he got high sin. I get right right now. Nigga, Jason was like, yo, drink, bro, drink. I'm like, nigga, I ain't no baddie, bro. You bro, can't, again, you can't nah, let's, talk about, let's talk about the military. Because now I got a nigga who has my back. <laughs> Niggas don't get that. Like, in the military, we drink a lot. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to have everybody have a good time. You have to get drunk with me. You see me doing push-ups? I was, I was living it up. Nah, bro, that's not enough. You, It's not enough until you sitting there laying on the floor and not thinking you could go for more. No, I don't that's want that. That's how I want to get niggas. That's I how get I niggas felt. To, I want to push them to their limit. Don't like, haze me. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> What type hey. of shit you are It's not <laughs> hazing If you're having fun That's facts But if we're off work I don't think it's hazing Oh it's nah man. This nigga's sick bro I've definitely uh, Nah take another shot A few niggas mm-hmm. Oh you, you did Yeah A few Have too you many. forcibly made A nigga drink before? I don't force anybody To drink I yeah. just kinda <laughs> Hey bro, 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 bro. I'll, I'll be like, nigga, you don't drink right now, you're gonna pay for it tomorrow. See oh me my at work. God. <laughs> See me at work. What hey, the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Nah, everybody has I, fun. I just try to get everybody to have some fun because, like, yeah. nah, you definitely got some. Guarantee you. I guarantee you they appreciate it, though, nowadays. They guarantee probably do. But drinking if they had, was if a they real. had the purge, you might drinking have an army after you, my bond. nigga. Hey, yo. <laughs> J- Jason definitely got an army after that. I swear to God, all my boots who I've hazed, all that, they love me to fucking death. Because, it, I mean, at the end of the day, it's really, I mean, we ba- we build off that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. It makes they sense. They love me to death. Hit me up, be like, hey, I miss you and shit like that. They respect me. That's I how they be in the I respect the living fuck out of them, for real, for real. I, I do. don't have boots. I didn't get the corporal. I just have people who looked at me for answers because I've been there for a while. And I just like, don't look at me, nigga. I'm getting out soon. Nigga, I mean, to me, honestly, real shit. Yeah. Um, no, nah, I'm going to maybe get a little, not deep, but actually personal shit. Niggas don't come, they don't come to me for shit. No one really comes to me. There's not been a single nigga here who has came to me for advice. Not once. And I understand why, because I pretend myself as a dickhead. I'll be blunt. I'll be an asshole about it. So when I actually had boots under me that were coming to me for answers and looking up towards me like, hey, what should I do? Yeah. Military, real life shit. Asking me questions. I I appreciated it more than anything, because no one ever has done that for me in my life. No one's ever done that for me in my life. Damn, Chris. Nigga, what, what do you mean, damn? This nigga's never asked me for advice a day in his life. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, cuz. In my defense, I don't ask anybody for advice. That's for sure, though. I mean, it's nothing yeah. against y'all, but no, I, I can understand why. I'm self aware as why niggas wouldn't ask me for advice. I get it, but. I get you. I, I get appreciate you. it to high hell. I respect the fuck out of every single nigga that was under me in the Marine Corps and my friends and people above me, without a doubt. Would you send this video to them? To them? Absolutely. I, I let them niggas know, bro. Every single time we hit each other up, I go, I love you niggas to death. For real. I miss you like shit. For real. For Type real. shit. Send them this podcast, bro. Yeah, I will, honestly. But niggas don't be listening. I'll post it on Facebook they or some shit, maybe. I don't fucking know, bro. Hey, Bash's auntie's gonna listen to this from North Carolina or something. Yeah, I'm not posting this on Facebook anymore. My grandfather God damn it. Man. Yo. My aunt's not seeing honestly, this. Honestly, listen to all the way through. Shout out my grandpa, real quick. I'm sorry. My grandfather. I'm, let me say, government, I'm sorry, pops. Ken, much love to you. I call him Poppy. 
Don't say pause. Don't say pause. Don't say pause. I was not going it's, to. It's, it's, fam- it's family, bro. It's Let it go. It's P-O-P-P-Y. It's not P-A-P-I. He said P-P-P-I. Much love. He was the person, I'm going to be honest with you, that gave me the idea to try and just talk freely on this. Don't answer question. Oh, really? So, yeah. no. I'm you watch the pod? Really? Yeah, shit. Every, every single time I'm on the podcast, and even then when he's bored um, editing photos, he's a photographer, watches the pod. See? Hey, Poppy, you a real nigga. Yeah. That's <laughs> I don't know if and the, he's not going to like that one too much. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm about to say. <laughs> he, he, like the, he, he be telling me, y'all say nigga too much. It's so my fault. My fault. That's, I mean, I feel my like... Fault, I, nigga. See, I'm... <laughs> 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 see, love you to death for real. See what Man, I, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of like people, like you know, my mom watches every podcast. Yeah. Jordan's parents always watch his podcast. I think Corey's dad always watches his his podcast. I know Tyrone's mom be watching. She be watching a lot of clips. I'm gonna try to promote to my family more. I know my brother be watching like some of the clips. It's like some of my cousin be like texting me the clips. I don't be seeing other niggas like the actual videos and shit. That's good though. Like I don't be liking my family like seeing my other personalities. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like a lot of you, bro. Really? When, he, when he told me, because he didn't tell me he started watching until like he was like, like episode 50. Really? I was like, damn, like, you hear me talk for real, for real. Like, oh, so you Because again, I'm reserved when I talk to my family. I'm socially, I'm socially anxious even towards yeah, them. So I, I don't, don't want to tell them. I shit. don't talk a lot around my family. I just but like they, he, they hear and like they listen to this and they're really like, nigga, just like the last podcast. I was talking about my ex and how I really felt and like how I got punched in the face by a girl before. They don't know nothing about that and even shit like this. They, they don't know nothing about this, but now they're gonna hear it. Hey, my mom know I'm. Bro, my mom know I'm I'm a weird guy, and he, she knows that you guys are all weirdos. You know what they, the fuck? Yeah, she like the hell, my dad like the hell out of y'all, bro. <laughs> we was. I remember your mother called me oh, teddy bear, bro. I, I still don't. Oh yeah, <laughs> my mom gonna love this one. She gonna love. She's like, bash like a little teddy bear. <laughs> he said like a teddy grim. <laughs> nah, real quick, real quick. Shout, shout I don't want to say we got beef, but like I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Nah, real shout out to um, Darius's parents. I mean, they support everything he does. Dude, w fucking parents without a doubt, bro. Yeah, well, shout be telling, bro. Hey, real shit. Darius be telling us about like your parenting and like your hab- like, um, habits and stuff like that. What you did when you was raising them. Amazing parents without a doubt, in my life. Love you Amazing guys. parents. Much love to y'all. And also, she she said she liked me and Fritz. Much love to you. Thank you so much. Whoa, I appreciate that. I'm, sorry, got, I'm, got, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. You can either call that. me Teddy Bear. You can like Fritz. You can't have both. You're there right now. <laughs> She said she liked you, Bash. She can't like us both. She got to <laughs> choose one. Now, what my dad said was we was at my, my Nana's house on Easter, and we was talking because my, my little cousin, he got a tattoo. Oh, He right. got a tattoo on his arm. So this was like, he was like, my dad was like, yo, you broke the code. None of us got tattoos but you. And he was like, is it the people you hang out with? He was like, who you be hanging out with? He was like, man. He's like, my uncle's like, man, he just be hanging out. You know, he hang out with the cool kids. He's like, yeah, that's why I'm glad Darius got a gr- good group of friends. But they a bunch of weirdos and nerds. Hey, yo. I said, what? He said, but he said, <laughs> Chris. Nigga, I, I'm out here in the streets. Nigga. <laughs> nigga, on the dad homie, nigga. On dad homie. Said, dad homie. Nigga, you don't know where I'm from, nigga. I'm from, the, I'm from the side, nigga, the west side, nigga. But he said, we, I got a bunch of big ass nerd friends. So I they're think, like, so like they're big dudes, but they we're big guys, but they don't know that I we're think weird. The only nerd for real is Jakai. But I'm talking about we got we got we got because we got UJ. Chris is big, a big dude. Tom is a <laughs> Tom is a big guy. Yeah. Tyrone Tyrone's yeah, the big as fuck. Tyrone six nine is the weirdest guy. One of the weirdest niggas I yeah. know, bro. Yep. But I'm bro. That yeah. nigga said that nigga told me he well, used to he, nigga. bro. That nigga told me he used to go to sleep in sunglasses just in case somebody walked in. And thinks he's sleep, but he's really awake, <laughs> so they don't see his eyes. What type of shit is that? <laughs> that is so he on his issue. That nigga issue be sitting in his sunglasses, just looking nigga, at people. Nigga so issue go to sleep in a bubble coat and sunglasses. <laughs> see, that's the shit my dad be talking about. We was a weird, but it's like nobody's gonna fuck with us because we bunch of big ass niggas. I think I'm telling you, I think he was scarred. What? Who's I mean, home? I mean, I mean, we, I, got, I got my big homies. Yeah, we, we got UJ Tom. on a dad homie, Snicky. We got Bass too, even though you got one leg. But hey, nigga. <laughs> I don't need a leg when you got the blicky on you, nigga. Feel me? <laughs> on the dead homies, nigga. Oh, get the fuck out. Nigga been in North Carolina too long, bro. He been going to every state catching new accents. <laughs> dead homie. <laughs> That's like Louisiana or some shit, yes, bro. Sir. But you guys want to talk about anime, bro? I got some anime questions for y'all. <gasps> this nigga started I've been waiting for this hey, damn yo. near 85 episodes. Now, now we're talking about... 
We're talking about, we're talking about special. That might be an A yo. Why did you gasp like that? Is that <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to show like my my body on YouTube? Go, right you now? Can go ahead, my nigga. I got anime tattoos, Full Metal Alchemist, Future Diary, Naruto. I love anime. Without a doubt, right, I'm not gonna pull my shirt up because it's cold. But I do have a uh, Seven cowboy Deadly Bebop. Sins tattoo, and I got a Cowboy Bebop tattoo. <laughs> cowboy Bebop. Oh wait, Chris got wings for us. Thank you, Chris. Oh, well, that's fries. Why is it like rings? Wings. wings. And Hey, this is fries, niggas. Ain't wings. I don't know where y'all. Where oh y'all wait, like, they didn't never got wings. I, I'm not, nah, I'm straight. I was taking like two. Hey, well, keep my shit straight, bitch ass nigga. Ah! All right, let's let's hear the anime questions. I love right. this. I love this for real. So, uh huh. I got a list. Can we survive these animes if we were in those worlds as NPCs or side characters? No, whoa, whoa, whoa! Before you even start, no. Why? Well, you got no powers. You, yeah, we're fucked. I'm built different, nigga. I'm, yeah, yeah, I nigga, think it will be good. Nigga Bash can be selling cabbage, get hit by a fireball. It's done <laughs> up, like. <laughs> nigga, you, you underrating the cabbage, nigga, boy. This <laughs> nigga gonna beat him up. He gonna beat him up, fucker, from, from fucking, um, you know, the Avatar nigga, the, the cabbage selling yeah, niggas that get hit exactly with the rock? About, yeah. <laughs> My cabbage. My cabbage. Nah, nigga, if anything, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be soccer. <laughs> yeah. My, minus the bitches, though. All right, how about we have no powers, but we have. Okay, let's, let's hear those. No here, powers? Though. All right, I'm cooked. Never let's, mind. Let's hear those. Let's, let's, let's hear those. So the first one is Dragon Ball Z. Cooked. Oh, <laughs> nigga Frieza was going around destroying <laughs> planets just because he was racist. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so nigga dumb. Frieza was walking like monkeys. It, <laughs> boom. <laughs> nah, because I don't know if you know about Dragon Ball Z. Niggas were born um, with tails. They're monkeys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They transform. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, monkey and then blow up the planet. So if we had tails, he would kill us. Yes, <laughs> but is there a way that we could get powers? Like if we train? Nah, you're born yeah. saying or not? Nah, you know? nigga, you go to Master Roshi crib, nigga. nigga there's, <laughs> a, there's, there's a nigga. Uh, true, you, you nigga named Yamcha yeah, loves yeah, Yamcha. baseball. <laughs> Mitter than the, the, the menace. That's He's a, a human, ba- nigga. I think that's what Bash said would be equivalent to. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, nigga, we gotta be Yamcha. There's no other choice. You wanna yeah. be Goku? We can't, nigga. You gotta be Krillin or Yamcha and get fucked up. You can't be Tien. Nigga. I don't know what that nigga is. He not human. Nigga. I'm sorry. Nigga, one of the first goddamn arcs of Dragon Ball Z was against uh, Frieza. Yeah. Slice the fuck out of fucking Krillin. He's a human. Got <laughs> fucked up. That nigga Krillin got cooked. Cooked. Jesus. Don't give a sir, Yantra. Nigga, Yantra tried to pull up to the to free not freeze a fucking Vegeta and Napa and just instantly <laughs> <laughs> got fucked up. Got blowed up. Hey, so yo. now I'm be honest with you, cook. We're done. Cook. Get done. Hey right. bro, I'm going to Master Roshi crew. I'm, I'm unlocking my chakras, nigga. <laughs> Good luck, bro. Good luck. I need pickle though. <laughs> okay. All right, how about Attack on Titan? Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you. There's a possibility we could we could live that. We could live, but I need you. You don't know about the story for talking. I'm sorry about the spoil for niggas. I'm actually starting it though. We're not making it out the walls, brother. <laughs> We're not making it out the walls. We're not making nah, it out the nah. walls. We gotta <laughs> not, rely not on Aaron all. and shit. And that <laughs> committed mass genocide for a girl. <laughs> like, <laughs> nigga, she was a bad bitch though. She was. She was she a baddie. She yeah, Mikasa. She yeah. was a baddie at first. She turned into a nigga at the end. She was yeah. better than um. What's that girl from uh? Rag- Reckon the Ragnarok. Nah, not nigga, better. You than, talking about Aphrodite? Not better than Aphrodite. <laughs> yeah. nigga, Aphrodite had niggas holding her titties. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't think we're gonna live that one. We could. I'm gonna I'm say there's. There, I'd say 60 40. 60 40. 60 40. The niggas in Tiger Titan were really doing their job for it. But That's a lot of people were killed. Weren't they really just regular humans? Most of them are. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Except for like. The Titans. Yeah, the Titans Titan. and the Ackermans. Yeah. Okay. So. Do you, would you be like the soldier niggas or you just be the niggas that sell cabbage? I don't know if I'd be a soldier. Why do you want all these I niggas to sell cabbages? I swear every animal Honestly, sell cabbage. Honestly, I'd be a soldier. I'm going to be honest with you. They have rider dies now. I know you don't know about this, but Irwin Speech. There's a nigga named Irwin. Yeah. Commander of most of the service. Realest nigga on the block, bro. That, that nigga really on the dead homies. <laughs> he, he's talking right and the nigga's like, wait, but we're going to die anyway. So if I don't listen to you, what's the point? Right? Yeah. Nigga was like, all right, cool. What about the other dead people? Fuck them. We do this for them. We do it for all the people behind us. No matter what happens in our lives, it's meaningless, but we're going to sit here doing it and give it meaning. I'm convince, not going to lie. Convince hella niggas to ride the battle to their death, knowing they're going to die. I'm not going to wow. lie. The only nigga that can convince me more than him is Optimus Prime. That, that nigga's up there. That nigga's speech. How about heavy. Captain America? Nah, nah not nah. even him. Irwin, I, Optimus Prime is different, bro. Caesar? Irwin, Irwin is a regular human. <laughs> that nigga He's was the first nigga to get blicked. Damn, like off the rip. Real yeah, sure. he was just he, a, he was just a nigga, bro. But he he had niggas riding to their deaths for their niggas. Niggas Damn, were scared. Niggas was right. He had niggas riding for his niggas. Yeah, real niggas. Yeah, 
Damn, bro. I think I, was, I might sell my cabbages. But that nigga Optimus Prime had a regular humans fighting against robots. That, that, nigga, that nigga crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a driver? Yo, pull up. <laughs> How about Caesar? Caesar from Planet of the Apes. That nigga was, that nigga was talking to the apes, bro. Yeah, yeah we, that, they might <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you right now. Regular humans. Just regular no humans. one is talking to me and convincing me more than Optimus Prime and Erwin. Them niggas is top two. Hey, yo, bro. That's facts. All right. The next one's One Piece. Do you think we can find the One Piece? Yeah, we can live. We can live there. A lot of, a lot of, because really, One Piece is all about niggas scrapping with pirates and marines and other pirates. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, so yeah. as long as I'm not the pirates or the marines, I'm straight. We, we straight. We living like you straight. Yeah, we chilling. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's just, don't, just don't let Blackbeard come to my island. We we cool. Yeah, Blackbeard be Blackbeard ain't. And, uh, what is that kid? Kid punk. What uh, the fucking kid? Kid. Yeah, kid. Kid the pirate. Oh, it really? He's a dickhead, nigga. Yeah, he is. He be doing whatever the fuck he wants, but I don't think he'd kill us. But. Nah, yeah, we're, we're, we're Either chilling. We, sh- we chilling? Nigga, the world in One Piece is so large. Out of the I know, world. I It's heard. so massive. Nigga, that there's, shit's like there's a thousand episodes. There's the they haven't been to that's probably just chilling. They, they probably don't even know who Luffy is. Nah, yeah, Loki. They don't even know about Moogie Wada. What the fuck? That's Straw tough. Hat, nigga. All right, but all right, how about Hunter x Hunter? Again. Keep me anywhere away from the Chimera Ants. We straight. Hey, we chilling? <laughs> we chilling? We oh, straight. Yeah, Loki. Hey, I'm, a, I'm with I might even nigga. unlock my name real quick. Like, bro, I'll bro. get my Hunter shit, bro. Because technically anybody in Hunter x Hunter can get abilities okay. if they practice it. Yeah. Oh, so like you could like train to get your ability. Yeah, it's called yeah. Nen. They're all humans. They just Everybody has Nen. Oh, I'm about to get my shit. Ch- hey, well, you got to unlock your chakras, my nigga. Hear me like out. Aang? Nigga, to get your Nen is a crazy process. Aang. It's not something light. Oh, shit. It is not something light to get your Nen. Really? Yeah, they got to work, they boy. Thank you. Oh, that's right. oh, no, that should look hot as a motherfucker. Yeah, we're going to wait. Make my shit straight, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, I don't know. Right, that shit steaming. God damn. But nah, nah, nah. We, we, we can survive that? Right, yeah, that's not unless bad. you're trying to go be a hunter. If you run into a nigga like Ahsoka, it would, you, you're done for. That, that's, that's over. Wait, wait, let me find out you're a kid with like potential. <laughs> you getting you getting beat the fuck up. <laughs> you're, you're getting raped then beat the fuck yeah. up. You getting whoop. I'm not even going to have him repeat that shit. Yeah, you got to blow that up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the last one is Bleach. Mm, now most of the fighting takes place in um, the Soul Society and um, wherever these spotters live. So yeah, honestly, they're technically all Shinigami, so they're not a part of that plane of the yeah, world. Yeah, they're not. They're not really fucking with Earth too much. The first season just to introduce Ichigo because he's on Earth. Yeah. Yeah, but like even then, they're not really fucking up humans like that. But there are times where it's just like randomly destroying shit in the human world, mm-hmm. and I am an unlucky ass nigga. You the nigga with the cabbages. <laughs> But you know, I, th- I think we're chilling. You think we're chilling with that one? Yeah. Look okay, at bro. We survive in all the anime worlds, bro. For the most part, yeah. Now, let's talk about JoJo's. Oh, all right, bro. No, no, Okay, bro. tell me about JoJo's, because I know you love JoJo. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> Why? Don't look at me. What do you want to know? What What is the main plot of it? The main plot? I mean, it's different every season. Well, it can take... In a, in a, in a, the main in a plot is uh, flamboyant niggas and flamboyant ghosts that they control. Nah, there's just people. <laughs> there's just people that. Um, well, in the first season, it's about two niggas. The first two seasons, or the first season is about two niggas that beef. Yeah. Second season, same kind of thing. They're ancient pillar men. One of the flamboyant niggas is a vampire. And the third from now on is about their. It's basically about their lineage, the Joe Star lineage. They have potential to tap into um, things called stands. Yeah, yeah, Yolene, yeah. a bad bitch, by the way. But <laughs> I, I mean, I really can't describe too much because Joe's is a fucking wild ride. But I don't know if we survive because the villains are on. Fucking timing in that show. They are on timing. They don't get. There's one nigga that literally can just erase a space. Yeah, erase a what? Like a space of time? Just erase space. Like, like like this. Like, what's okay? So let's say like I'm right here. I go like this. I go like that. The camera's to me. I deleted the space between me and the camera. So I can delete you from the space. So like, it's just nothing now, or just. He deletes the space. I delete the space between me and the camera. There's like the space is going. So like, say I delete the space under us, we just fall. Yeah. Yeah. The space between us are gone now. Wow. Niggas and Joe's have crazy powers, but I won't go into it. I ain't gonna lie. I I won't. I won't. All the people that create anime, they're very creative people. No, beautiful masters. Like I don't know how people can create a world, even when people with books or movies or whatever, can create a world outside of here. That's what I'm saying, bro. Entire world. Like they got mad drugs. <laughs> they have they have massive yeah, amounts no, of like creativity. Harry Potter, bro. What's her name? J.K. Rowling. Yeah, well, she was on drugs. She was, <laughs> she was for sure on drugs. So a, there's a boy who lives under a staircase with a scar on his head. <laughs> Wizards, like, <laughs> but it worked out for her. So shout out. Type right? shit. What what anime you suggest for kids that are just starting out to watch anime? You said kids. 
Or people that are just starting, starting out. out. My starting out anime, so I'm a little bit biased. One Punch Man. Beautifully. Everything you probably... You know, if you don't like One Punch Man, you won't like anime, to be honest. In my opinion. <laughs> so I always give it depending on what you like and how old you are. Yeah. If you like a little bit older... And you like like fucking like some twists and some mystery. Uh, Attack on Titan is great. It's Attack on Titan is the Walking Dead of anime. Nice phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, some younger people trying to get into anime, I'd recommend probably Bleach. Honestly, Bleach is very fire. Really? Yeah. yeah. Bleach. Bleach is a fire anime. Good story. Some fights. It's not too gory. It's there just, might there might be some fucking blood in the later seasons. Yeah. But yeah. It's, it's on a dope swim. Like it's on tsunami and shit. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. So do you, I feel like people that watch anime are pretty people be judging niggas that watch anime. Absolutely. Well, I don't know why. In the past, like they were they're mostly weirdos. Yeah, I know, but I feel like now it's like they'd be like, Oh, you watch anime, you like I feel like no. niggas I feel, I feel like, like in this day and age, if you dislike a nigga because they watch anime, you were just like very weird. Yes. I feel like I feel like they think niggas that watch anime or I feel like the niggas that watch anime have more substance to them and personality than niggas that are just like those weird niggas that all they do is just like do Maybe like live betting or something. No, nah, yeah, shit. no. I mean, I remember coming up in high school, I was afraid to tell people that I watched anime. Like, yeah. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Niggas would call me a loser, a geek, and all that shit. Because, <laughs> uh, but nowadays, you watch anime, bro. That's hard, bro. You like, dude. I fuck you. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've been jacking this shit from middle school. You fucking bitch. See, I kind of feared that shit at shit. first, but like in middle school, I used to hang out with these niggas, and we all used to fucking love a uh, Team Four Star, the Dragon Ball Z bridge, and. We openly talked about the anime, and I was it was like me and his other nigga named uh, Jellison. We was like pretty big niggas. So we Jellison? Were like, huh? You said Jellison? No, Jellison. Oh, Jellison. He oh. was Asian. Oh. Zapa say. My eps, 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 eps. <clears throat> And we was like oh, pretty oh. big niggas. So like niggas wasn't really fucking with us, even if we like watched anime. Yeah. And I was kind of, that made me more, like more open. Like, yeah, we watch anime. But then there was though, another nigga named Nicholas who like wore Koski rules to school, and I was like, Nicholas, you kind of uh, wildin'. And he's bugging. See, but Nicholas also got bitches, so like he could really do whatever the <laughs> fuck he wanted. See, the only reason why, because when I was younger, I, the only thing I watched was Dragon Ball Z Kai on fucking Nick, uh, Nickelodeon because I didn't know about the other shits that was outside of that. And plus, I have my attention span now is very low. Like it's very shitty. This nigga don't be immersing himself. Like bro. I be, I be wh- feeling for the bro, characters. The only like I'm telling you, like Invincible, like shit, Invincible DC MU shits. Those are the ones I really li- watch. But like the the freaking, I I try watch. I've been watching Attack on Titan. I'm on like episode like three right now. So I've been just bro, trying you, my you way through. You never cried over a cartoon, bro. Oh hell yeah, I have. I I've cried over Rugrats, nigga. Ah, he's bugging. Bro, I don't think you, I've cried. I've come I, close. Nah. Bro, Zav Kane was a silent voice. That nigga, shit hit my soul. N- oh. Nigga, you Boy. don't remember that part in Rugrats? Nah, when the Rugrats movie, when a nigga was crying about his mother, you and everybody else it. had mothers, you need Whatever. to watch the silent Niggas voice. Ain't on me. A silent voice <laughs> made me rethink my fucking life. A silent voice just like connected with me on a spiritual level, nigga. No, a silent voice is like it, it's a beautiful. Wait till this podcast bro. in ish. Sweet. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, silent voice had me weeping, weeping. What's it about? I heard it before. A deaf girl. And a dude who used to bully her, yeah, grow up obviously, and they reconnect. Oh, really? And yeah. it's him like coming to terms with like what he used to do and loving himself again, basically. Damn, I might have to watch that shit. No, nigga, say that shit. <laughs> you can't say. That. You can't oh no, that's say- it. <laughs> <laughs> but but no, nah, yeah, that's tough though, man. I hope y'all learn a little bit of something, either from the military or the anime, bro. Get a little right, you know, pen and paper shit like that. I learned a lot of shit from anime. I randomly learned rigor mortis from anime. You know, but nigga, I learned rigor mortis off uh, Kendrick Lamar song. I, I, <laughs> I watched the anime before the song dropped, yeah. nigga. <laughs> Niggas even know what rigor mortis was. He was just saying rigor mortis. And he was like, yeah, nigga. Like, Can you Whoa. explain it to me? I don't know what that is. Rigor mortis. I'm pretty sure. It's rigor like mortis a- is the stiffness of the body yeah. after it dies. It's how your body stiffens oh. up and you can't move a dead body after you know rigor mortis sets in. That's why yeah. it feels like that. Like yeah. it's like heavy and shit. Yeah, by, uh, the muscles of the body get yeah, real like stiff. If, I, was, if yeah. I died like this and no one touched me, I'd be like, mm, I know what you I mean. I can't move. Yeah, I know what you mean. Damn, I didn't know that was actual work. That's Mortis. Was it like a show about that? or? Yeah, it was a show about zombies. Oh, okay, okay. Back when everyone was making zombie shows for some reason. Hey, was good that shit. But what are the questions I got for y'all? Do I got... Um, I can't even see that. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> that shit hot as fuck. I'm sorry. That chicken hot as hell. It out. is really hot. But, so... I got you. Which one would y'all rather do for $100 million? 
get bitten by a random snake not knowing if it's venomous or not, or get stuck in a room filled with angry wasps for 30 seconds. I really don't like wasps. I really don't like wasps. Them shits is like crazy violent. I know. Nigga, fuck not liking them. They could kill you. You're dumb if you don't think you could die. You I don't know if it's wasps. I don't know if it's wasps or bees, but this is one like species of them that like if you like step on them or like fucking kill them or fuck with them, they'll like have your scent yeah. for like miles and they'll follow you anywhere. No, yeah, there's there's roaches like that too, where if you step on them, uh their pheromones release and we're summoning other roaches. Yeah, no, that's why they say you can't like I feel like I think they said if you you're you're supposed to step on a roach with like a fucking paper towel or some shit. Cause you might get like the eggs on your shoe or some shit like that, and there's more roaches gonna come. Yeah, but no. Nah, uh, in terms of that, stung by a snake or bitten, bitten by, by a snake. snake that you don't know if it's venomous. Yeah, or not. So you mean, I mean, you put your hand in a box and let that shit bite you. And you either. I feel like I'm gonna go with the snake, bro. You gonna um, take the snake? Nah, yeah, you you're gonna have to take a snake, bro. Cause I'm telling you, bro, if you're in a room full of however many wasps for that long, you could die. Absolutely. But you, bro. 30 seconds I don't, though I don't. Yeah but it depends How many wasps in there And how agitated they are And if they sting you You will I die. feel like I'd rather Take the chance Of the snake being venomous Yeah than at it. least you have 50-50 What if it's a black mama spider Well the then snake, bro. You're, you're kind of it, fucked it's up It's done up We but out like, We out either way Now let's say that Well let's like, but I feel like you have A bigger chance of it Not being a venomous snake Versus How many wasps Are going to sting you where You think again, so? You could die from that Absolutely Your body could be I don't know the exact thing but I think what I interpret it as is your body can be put into so much shock from that much yeah, pain yeah. and being shocked or stung anywhere that you could absolutely die from it or heart attack or whatever it may be. But you don't think 30 seconds is not like 30 seconds is not that long of a time period. It's, it's enough it's, to it's get long a, enough, a lot of wasps to sting. That's you. like what? Maybe 50 stings? And if you and if a fu- yeah. and if a wa- 50, whoa, whoa. How many wasps are in there? You want 50? fifty stings? Nigga? They're all gonna sting you. They, Twenty of them might kill me. They're, they're not. They're not dumb. <laughs> yeah, like, no. I, bees aren't dumb creatures. They will sit there if they see one. Like if they see one risking their lives to sit there and like sing a nigga, they will yeah. all do that shit. They, they're, they're down. And I ride. think for like some bigger like animals and shit, like they'll fuck around like just like try to suffocate you and crawl in your throat. Yeah. Oh man, bro. And if a I really and if a wasp stings bit, your throat, bro. you're dying. Like I that don't actually, you're done. That should go. What if it's like an anaconda? That should start constricting your arm. Okay, you're still good, but like, Just cut that shit off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, cut that shit. I've had a tourniquet on me before, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> tourniquet drills, boy. <laughs> yeah, this is I lost circulation bro. in my arm before, that nigga. It was crazy. Yo, nigga, what did they do to y'all? What the fuck? <laughs> nigga, that was that was a drill. That's that was a drill. It's a drill. Just in case you like get like a a wound, like a gunshot yeah, or some shit. Oh, oh okay, okay. So you like you guys practice that shit? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. But we use it as punishment. I use it as punishment because it hurts. It does. I did it because I was drunk. Well, sick motherfucker. Well, little size real quick. Let's say you're bleeding out. Yeah. Obviously, you're in pain. You're squirming. You're moving. Yeah. I'm going to put my knee on, on your, like, right the, here so yeah. you do not move. Yeah. I'm going to hold you the fuck down. First of all, my knee pointing into yours is going to hurt like shit. Uh-huh. On top of me tying this tourniquet as hard as I can to, to stop, stop the bleeding? your blood flow. Okay. It hurts like hell. Wow. Yeah. So, do y'all do that like often? No. Nah. Just no, like, really. just like whatever. Like, More whenever than you want like. You know, I, I do it wherever we're in flax because so our flax have our tourniquets on. Would you think, like, do you ever think somebody might have lost an arm doing that shit? Like, because they had that shit on for too long and they lost all blood flow? Probably. Like, maybe, maybe. somewhere? Yeah. You think yeah, it could I, happen? I, I can see it. I'd assume somebody did that before. That's why they tell us, don't keep that shit on for too long or yeah. you will have to cut off your arm. Damn. Nah, that nigga's sick. Long bro. story short, snake. <laughs> snake? Yeah. Oh, damn, bro. Well, I think that. I, I think I get the snake too. I don't think them, but all right. I uh, trust y'all niggas. Yeah, that nigga slurped that fucking wing, I bro. That's your bus. All right, let it's me try a wing you. before. This shit just bust. Damn, oh, flats. Nah, I'm not hungry. Next one. They did. Let's Wait, who go. did they play? The Cavs, nigga. Fuck you, Bashir. We got you next round. I don't care. We got defensive player of the year over there, nigga. He ain't defensive player of the year yet. I'm. Confident. He can't guard Julius Randle. How much Julius Randle had? Thirty. That nigga had 15. Jalen Brunson went crazy. See, frying Darius Garland. They can't. They can't have consistent good games. So they'll lose. They're gonna lose four games eventually. Type shit. I'm over here making love to this wing, bro. I'm about to be exposed. <laughs> I know, right? I know. He's gonna get excited watching this shit. <laughs> but I got. I got. One, <laughs> I got one more question, bro. Let's hear it. So, 
Which one would y'all rather be real in the world? Everything that they talk about in Greek mythology, from the gods to all the creatures. Done. Or everything they talk about in all folklores around the world. So I'm talking about all them little demon creatures. Folklores, nigga. All them little vampires. Folklores, nigga. Nigga, Zeus... And Poseidon are two of the worst niggas I have ever heard you, stories Poseidon's about. Poseidon's that bad? Life. Nigga, do you know about Kronos the Titan? Is that he was the, eating gods for breakfast. That's the, that's the fucking... Nigga, that's I, that. I want yeah. you to know that if you ever in your life have said, yo, she is as bad as Aphrodite, that bitch is gone. <laughs> like, that, that bitch is dead the <laughs> oh, next day. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if oh, you ever shit. mention, like, yo, that bitch, is, that bitch is probably better than Aphrodite, that bitch is, like, turned into a snake that same day. Damn, so you're going to have, like, a bunch of uh, werewolves and vampires and fucking... Yeah. Loch Ness monster and, then, and shit like that. Then you know, where you on a Saturday, down, Zeus is just coming down and fucking your cousin, and now you got curses on your family for the next ten centuries. Nigga, think about the gods. This is just for a second. Think about the gods. Hercules, fucking Zeus, Hercules liked Poseidon, us. Hermes, Ares, Hades. How many? Is, how, okay, I know most of the gods are terrible, but Hercules liked us. Well, no, can Her- I spin the block real quick? Fritz didn't know who Hermes was. And he said, Bum. and he said he liked Greek mythology. Bum ass nigga. Bum. Isn't Hermes the fucking um? He's the messenger of the messenger the guys. I've been forgetting what's on the is. wings on his shoes. Yeah, and Fritz was trying to get that. Bum ass nigga. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, gods are on the nothing. dad homies. The the mythology of gods are nothing to fuck with, bro. They are nah, they're real. They're, literally, really all of them are dickheads. Wow. Every single one. Damn. They don't bro. care about humanity. Yeah, I think well, besides honestly, Hercules, because Hercules is a human. So yeah. But, like, doesn't that mean, like, some they are going to be demigods, though? There'll be some demigods, but most demigods side with gods more they than humans. God. But there's some good guys. That, like, you know, Percy Jackson was fucking with the humans. Yeah, yeah. Hercules is fucking with the humans. But, like, for the most part, guys don't give a fuck about us. So you'd rather take, like, the, the folklore shit with all them Hell demons? yes. I'll turn into a vampire, no problem. Bite also, me, nigga. <laughs> What's up? You gotta look nigga, like I'm waiting for that Percy Jackson show to drop, nigga. I remember reading them. I read them books when I was uh, in the schoolhouse. I read every single one of them shits. Nah, I love that Percy Jackson shit. Great stuff. Nah, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Where'd they come up with Greek mythology? Did they just make that shit up? Or Greece. <laughs> like, is that what the Greek niggas did, bro? <laughs> I mean... Well, there's different mythologies. Yeah, I know there's different mythologies. They were but technically like, just religions Nigga, at one technically point. God is our mythology. Yeah, they didn't. Niggas oh, in Egypt true. had Anubis, fucking Neith. Um, Don't India have Buddha shit. and stuff? Osiris, huh? What does India have again? Like, uh, the Indian has uh, Buddhism. Um, Buddha, Buddha, fucking. Um, What's that purple dude? Is that Buddha? Shiva. Shiva, there you go. You know, Vikings have Thor, Odin, Loki. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Everybody has their own gods. We just chose. I was about to get was about to demonetize. We just have, you know, Jesus God and Jesus Mary. Jesus Christ Almighty, shout out to our only saviors, Kyrie Irving. I think we should end the pod now. <laughs> Damn. Right? That was crazy. But thank y'all again for tuning in. Oh, wait. Thank y'all again for pulling for another podcast. Yeah, I really thank appreciate this one. I really like this one. I'm going to shake your hand spiritually. Well, Allah, come the fuck Allah. All right. <laughs> All right we got to cut that out. We got to cut that out. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Cut that out. Like, blur, yeah, that's what you get from. Blur over it. I'm glad you. I'm glad you said that. That was an intrusive thought. Okay, thank um, you. But no, thank you guys for pulling. Yo, shout out to Jakar for letting us do this. The do a pod in this freaking house, bro. Nice ass. Yeah, I appreciate that so much. Bro. Where is he? One love. He's, he's somewhere. He's watching here. anime. Oh, all right. He's probably playing League. <laughs> that's why he's the biggest nerd here. That and he plays that shit religiously. I'm the biggest Ain't bird. I'm league. the biggest. It, there's bird. a lot of long league legends. You Actually. don't play as much as him though. No. You be playing Brawlhalla. Hell yeah. I love Brawlhalla. I'm like, hey, I, I Twitch stream not as often, but I do. Oh, I'm about to start Twitch streaming too. Don't worry. I put Twitch on the the ship. Y'all know in the caption below. But thank y'all again for tuning in for another episode of Make sure podcast. you put my Twitch streaming in too, nigga. Huh? I'm about to start streaming too. Make sure you put my That's shit in. That's what I said. Y'all yeah, both. No, all, right, all right, all right. Just making sure, nigga. What's your name again? Bash from the block? Nope. Hey, yo. From the block? My name is Bash. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said bash from the block I'm not even from the block nigga. Dead homies <laughs> Dead homies But Tune in to all the socials on the bios All that stuff New merch coming out soon In about two weeks If you haven't seen the story Jason been rocking all that shit All that shit coming out soon Price is coming out soon Thank y'all for tuning in again And yeah We different than regular No regulars Man Gangster I'm going ready to go get it I'm going ready to go get it